What is going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. My name is Chris. Welcome to the Chem Nation Show. It is good to see you all. Aw, shucks. Arrested Canadian Caper now hunts the elusive spotted turtle worm Pokemon. Will this be a hard hunt to crack? Will Chem try the shuckle juice? Find out today on the Cam Nation Show. <laughs> Hey, Big G's, good to see you. We got Jaden here. We got Jerry Notso sporting a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, new um, profile picture there. How's it going, Jerry? We got Shiny Lunala here. We've got, uh, we've got, yes, uh, Big Cheese, of course. Becca's here. We've got Ultimatron. We got Muffin Man. Uh, Ming is here. Bjorn Gaming Trico, good to see you. Tyler Shanks is here. Decidueye's here. Third Wheel. Uh, Red Goblin, um, we've got Mitt Mitt, we've got Mickey, we've got Shiny Cornholio, Jenny Nobody, what's going on? Hefty, hello. Congrats on the beautiful uh, thing. We shouldn't be muted. Anne Marie, I don't think we're uh, we're muted. Uh, cut the hair, yeah, it's getting a little shaggy. I gotta run the thing. I was sporting a new haircut, that's right. That's right, no muted. Thanks, Big Cheese. I got freaked out there for a moment I got freaked out uh, definitely should call him Lex Luthor that's right that's right I'm going for that uh, that Woody Harrelson uh, look there from that uh, movie about uh, those guys those naturally born guys yeah three shiny litanins in a row what the heck in what game Lunala hey Goldilocks what's up Goldilocks, um, you gotta message me, uh, ooh, there's an egg ready for me. You gotta message me, uh, Goldilocks, on, uh, Discord, so that I can, uh, I can message you the, uh, PNG file of that drawing. Uh, Anne-Marie, um, I'm doing well, how are you? Patrick, how's it going? Cam, the member stream is over, you don't have to wear the pink goggles anymore. No, no, that's permanent. Permanent pink goggles. Well, they're glasses. They're not goggles, but... <laughs> Previously, we have done... Um, if we reach so many channel members in one live stream, then I switch from my clear len lenses to the pink ones, but I figure I'm going to wear these. Try to try to get the, get the pink glasses look or whatever. Um, oh, shiny Zorwa as well. Okay, an Ultra Moon. How'd you get three shiny Litten in Ultra Moon? That is insane luck. I'm assuming breeding eggs, right? Did my wife slap me. No, she's coming home later today. Then she'll slap me. Did a lot of tests. You'll be happy to know you're right. Thank you, shinies. I'm not sure um, which tests and, and what we're talking about, but yes, I usually am right. <laughs> Started a game, Pokemon Blue, according to in-game time, me and my uh, pre-Brock level 100 Needle King champion under four hours beat Oak in just five. That's pretty good, man. That's fast. Fast, fast, fast. I slept so long. Yeah, I went to sleep. Um, Duplicate the egg you receive. Oh, same egg every time. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Shinies. Okay. So what I suspected uh, was, was correct. Um, yeah, after the live stream ended, which was noon o'clock my time, I went right to, uh, right to bed, right to sleep, slept from noon till six, then I just kind of like woke up. I woke up, and then I was awake for a bit, and then I fell asleep later that night, and slept um, all throughout the night. Woke up in time just to, like, message the Discord server to let you know I was way too tired to stream, and then fell back asleep for many more hours, so. I slept a lot. My sleep schedule is a little bit off, but now, by streaming now, by streaming today, I'm going to get my uh, sleep schedule all back to, to normal. Saved every time I crossed into Goldenrod City, thinking maybe the egg would be different. If that triggers the egg being, turns out even that egg is the same. You mean, like... Um, saved into goldenrod. What? Hold on. What do you mean? 
Like when the man was standing outside? When he was already standing outside or before he was standing outside? Oh my gosh, really? Can we give Meta Champion some luck? He's trying to hatch a shiny Illumise. He's at uh, 5,305 eggs. Now, when you breed Illumise, you can either get Volbeat or Illumise. Um, and I think you got, what, four? Four Volbeat Shinies so far? Five more years of Big 24 live stream again. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, interesting. Before the man was standing, I would save and go right across to see if he's standing out. Okay. If not, you'd repeat... So even before the egg came out, you saved and basically when that the egg was the same every time. So like there's no man here. So what you're saying is what you're saying shinies is that when the man pops out, that egg will already be determined. Like as as of right now the next egg is already determined. We did get Lapras. Yes, we did. We got the Lapras. I'm the Eggman now, yeah, the Walrus. Mm, interesting. So the next egg, the, the old man's not standing out there, but the next egg is already previous is already determined. That's interesting. And how did you determine they were exactly the same? I'm I guess based on gender and and stats. That must have taken you a long time because uh, it's it takes like um, it takes like what depending on what the egg is uh, you know 12 minutes 15 minutes to hatch that thing yeah meta champion four Volbeat duplicated the egg and hatched five they were magic carp and to make my oh to make your life easier okay Yeah, they were dupes. You could hatch all five in one go. Yeah, Magikarp's really quick. So what you're saying is, without this old man here, I could save the game. I could save the game. Oh, now he's there. Um, let's say I get this egg. I save the game. Then I uh, ride around, wait for the old man to pop up, get that egg. That egg is always going to be the same egg, no matter what. So right now, I've got uh, I've got three eggs. You're saying egg number four is already determined what it, what it's going to be before he's even out there. Best shiny hunter is Kem. Thank you, Lunal. I appreciate it. 35 likes, by the way. We do got to get that like up to 50. I just realized we don't have a like goal pinned up there. Look at the channel members total down there. 1,340 channel members. 1,340 channel members. We did unlock another emote. Um, and, I mean, probably not necessarily going to get there, but 60 uh, channel members away from another emote slot. Oh, right. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Let me get that pinned up there. The trigger for him standing is crossing into Golden Road. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I, I, I can ride around here for an hour, for two hours, three hours, and the old man will never be standing there until I, in, until I like, cross into a different route. And then, then he will be uh, out there. I think it's just because you're on the route, like he's, the egg has already been generated. Or go, yeah, going in and out of the daycare, just changing the, the location. Because I'm in this route, he's not just gonna pop out of there. So you actually have to change the route so that, you know, he can get out there. Oh, yeah, that's right, because let's say you ride around Route 34 for 20 minutes. Chances are the old man is there. That's right. 
That's right. So he'll he'd already be sort of there, but you just don't see him because you haven't changed routes yet. Yeah, the step counter. Two every two hundred fifty uh, steps, two hundred fifty six steps. Uh, there is a chance that an egg will be generated, and that chance is is determined uh, based on what species are in there and what uh, the the trainer IDs. Okay, gotcha, uh, shinies. Egg is already determined possible if you save right before you'd be stepping outside. Yeah, I don't think it's impossible because every 256 steps, it's only a chance that an egg would be uh, determined. We got egg science going on in the chat, that's right. Missed the end of the last stream, did you end up getting the Lapras? FM Ace, yes! We did get the Lapras. We did get Lapras, Shiny Lapras. JJ, yes! How's it going, JJ? I have risen from the ashes. Razzy as well. Blake is there. I'm missing some names coming in. Um. What's an egg? I'm playing blue, right? So technically you could try to save at 255 with 256 being crossing into goldenrod. I guess... I guess that's... you could do that. 255 steps. Save the game. And then walk the one step. And then if it's not... If there's no egg generated, then uh, then you could just soft reset and then walk that one step and see if there's an egg. I don't know. That'd be interesting. How would you know the 255th step? Well, you'd collect the egg. You'd collect the one egg and then you'd have to like count your steps, right? But it's good to see you, Sarah. How you doing, Sarah? Sarah, we're hunting Shuckle. But uh, as our top gifter on the Memberathon, if you'd like to pick the next um, egg hunt in uh, in here, I will uh, allow you that privilege to pri uh, to to pick the next Pokemon that we hatch after Shuckle. Count the steps with super repels. You could do that, but a super repels 500 steps. Uh... Welcome back from the dead. Hey, Skrillo, what's going on? Mighty Munchkin in here. Just woke up. Ooh, which ones do you still need? Um, type in exclamation point crystal in the chat. And you can see I need pretty much every Pokemon almost. There, there's only a few I have from Gen 1 and 2 so far in the game. But pretty much name any Pokemon and I probably need it. Uh, good burgers. Yeah, that's right. You got the wrong crystal. Yeah, so there, Nightbot's got a link that says, uh, check out my shiny progress here. Ah, oh, there's another egg. Probably didn't win anyway. Oh, go in the morning uh, to check the ticket. It says, please try again later. Hold on, which ticket? Which ticket, JJ? The hair's already growing back. Uh, well, yeah, it is. It is. Oh, a lottery ticket, okay. Why'd you rip it up? Why'd you rip it up, JJ? What if you won? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Um, bum, bum, bum. Huh. <laughs> yeah, cheese is, uh, that's how you spell cheese, yep. You're predicting egg seven, wouldn't that be nice? We're, we're still waiting for egg number one to hatch. The initial, uh, the initial collection is, is, is pretty much the longest phase. All right, Sarah's picking Eevee. All right, I'm gonna have to get at least, at least six Eevees, so we may as well start with one. I don't even have an Eevee, actually. I gotta figure out where to get Eevee. Yeah, if you won the lottery, invest in an all-Asian energy drink with a particular, uh, audience. Yeah, just don't do coconut, because, you know, they, they, they shouldn't add coconut. Just get a nice original flavor. All right, here we go. Uh, first egg. Can we get a first egg? We haven't got a first egg shiny yet. Not shiny on first egg shuckle, and that's okay. Oh, right, Bill and Goldenrod, of course. That's right. Really, Shinies? This is your favorite Gen 2 Shiny, the, the Shuckle. Uh, we're almost at 50 likes, and we're gonna go like goal 100. Where is he in Goldenrod that he gives me? I forget. How was your sleep after the 24 hours? Camilo, it was long. It was long and somewhat restful, but also, like... It's hard to explain. Jay Gordon, that looks shiny to you. Oh, game uh, corner prize, okay. Got to meet him first in Mahogany Town. All right, I should. I well, once we get this, we'll we'll do the Eevee. Thanks for the fifty likes, everybody. Don't forget to smack the like button. We want to get. We want to get as many likes as possible. I want YouTube to start recommending my content. What did the wife say to you, bald? She has not. Uh, shared her opinion yet um she hasn't hasn't given me her opinion so i'm kind of thinking it's uh you know one of those situations where if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all <laughs> she probably doesn't care for it but um she's very understanding she's very understanding i did talk to her beforehand and say like look if that's 500 channel members, right? That's a lot of money. And she says, well, if I mean, if it's 500 channel members, then I, I don't mind. And it grows back. That's right. She didn't even say that about me. <laughs> she didn't say anything. Uh, Looks like... Wait, l looks at it like worth it. Yep, that's right. That's right. Well, it was it was 500 members, I guess, is is uh, about honestly is like $700 after YouTube's cut. So, hey, John, what's up? When's the one chip challenge? We're thinking about Friday. 1080p, uh, Trevor Jacob uh, Nation. What's up? Yeah, Jay Gordon. Might throw cheese slices on my head. Yeah, don't don't do that. Grow the mustache. She doesn't like the bald look. She doesn't like the facial hair. Grow both. That would cancel each other out. I think that's a scientific fact. Peace of mind how I feel. Uh, like the forces of nature wanted me. Alright. Well, JJ, we'll see what she says. The one chip challenge is one uh, tortilla chip. And it's extremely spicy. Extremely spicy. <laughs> I never thought of that, Shinies. If you do the one chip challenge Friday, that would be ironic because you would most likely not have a good Friday. That's true, it is good Friday. I forgot about that. All right, here we go. Shuckle number two. Shuckle number two. I didn't say my not. What are you talking about, Shinies? Before taxes, but yeah, nice. 30% uh, uh, YouTube takes on top of Uncle Sam. Yeah, before before the taxes. YouTube doesn't take out any tax dollars for me. I gotta, I gotta like, put money aside from that on my own. Uh, yes, Sandraj, we did get the Lapras. Yeah, just paint, uh, oh yeah. Just had to pick Shuckle, huh? What's wrong with Shuckle? What's wrong with that? 
Morning, Gym Leader Hassan. I have to work all Friday. Someone clip him eating. Uh, Sarah, you know you know the live stream will still be there. Working early Friday, so I should see it live. Okay. Oh, that's what you're hatching in gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got Shucky in there right now. Shucky's in the in there with the old with with the ditto. 2.8k Reggie Drago so far hitting 3k today, but you're under odds. I hope you get it soon, though. Yeah, you don't want to go long on Drago. I know somebody went real long on Drago. <laughs> Hatches already feel faster than Lapras. Yeah, half the steps uh, needed exactly. But I don't want to rewatch the stream. I want to. I want to see you suffer. I think I'm gonna make a separate video for it. I'm gonna make a, a separate video, so I'll do my typical live stream on Friday. We'll end the stream, and then I'll, I'll go live on like a separate video, and that'll just be like one separate live stream just for the chip. Pokemon Blue uh, team plan, pretty good. Uh, Charizard, Nido King, Raichu, Kadabra, Snorlax, Poliwrath. I think it's a good team, but if your Nido King is level 100, you won't need anything else. Yeah, I wonder what uh, Shucky's trainer is uh, <laughs> thinking breed fodder. Some red-haired red -haired buffoon was scaring me. Please take good care of this. This shuckle for me. And I just jam him into nursery there. Tyler Game Boy, what's going on? Oh my gosh, Tyler, that leech under the eyelid, man. That was that was something else. Watched the shiny Reshiram recently. First try? Literally the sh uh, best shiny enter. I didn't get Reshiram on the first try. Oh, it's a glitchless run. Oh, okay. New fear unlocked. That's right. It was, I think, um, that man, man DJ TV guy who got his on the first try. What's the family verdict? Uh, they haven't said anything. So, yeah, I said earlier, it's probably one of those cases you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. So, they, they, my wife acknowledged that she saw that I shaved my head, but she didn't give me her opinion. And, oh, PM7 did on the first try, too. <clears throat> and then I think A-Drive got first check, um, Palkia as well. You think Legend Z-Day might be in the future? I'm hoping that it's both, in the future and the past. Here we go, we got another egg. Another egg. Mmm, not shiny. The one stripe down the middle. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to look like an idiot. Mm. <laughs> Don't say anything. Speaking of Reshiram, I got the shiny Adino. Looking for it in wormholes. Oh, on a very la okay. So your last wormhole hunt is over. Right on, Hefty. On my very last wormhole hunt ever. Now that's awesome. And that's Reshiram. You said. Yeah, we'll see. The kids will the kids will say something for sure when we get home. They'll they, well, as soon as we get home, they'll tell me for sure what they what they think about it. Um. Oh yeah, rocket event. That's right. In Pogo, old Pokemon like any starters pass form evolve in their current state. Who knows? Who knows what they do? We gotta wait till next year, but it's gonna be uh, pretty cool. Bum, 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 bum. Kids will slap it, maybe. That's right. They'll probably, like, do one of those. Winnie the Pooh 2 is a huge improvement. Can't uh, be much worse than... Yeah, than 3%. The new Winnie the Pooh movie's out. Blood and Honey Part 2. Apparently, it's doing really well on... Uh, on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. It was like a three-day, three-day limited release or something in the theaters. I'm almost tempted to go and see it in the theater. 
because three days only. So I'm I'm tempted. Tempted to go to St. Vital to see him. Um, Vullaby Shiny boosted his pogo. We got one in Oh wait, you got a wild shiny? Vullaby? Is Vullaby boosted? Legit will get banned. Hold on, what are you asking, Raymond? Okay, there we go. Meta Champion says Vullaby is 1 in 64 in Pogo. Gotcha. Oh, and Marie got Shiny Vullaby from Research. Okay, so everyone's getting it. Surprise, uh, Nintendo's DS still work. I mean, it's a, it's a great device. Team Rocket event going on. A lot of dark types popping up. I did see a... Uh, Scraggy. I did see Scraggy this morning, which I think is perma boosted. All right, uh, sh uh, Shiny Lunala, good uh, luck on the Ultra Wormholes. Shiny Vullaby this morning. Oh man, everyone's getting Shiny Vullabies. I guess I gotta go out and play once uh, the, the kids get home. 40, 1 in 14 million odds. Better You have better odds eating than winning the lottery. That is true. There is a better than a 1 in 14 million uh, chance that you will eat. That is true. 1 in 14 million. Sounds like the 649. Scraggy's 1 in 512. Really? I thought somebody said Scraggy was perma boosted. I don't know what, what, that, what that word means is cheating oh we'll make you hatch egg without moving i'm not sure what that is wimpod's the new shine of this event wimpod's like not till april right i think a wimpod shiny april 4th oh you asked if it was after you got the third one okay Calm day odds work for every Pokemon or only for the one that's featured. Uh, on community day, only the, the featured Pokemon on community day is boosted. Oh, Sandow's a new one. Okay, in Pogo. Third wheel, congrats on the shiny Overquill. Gotten three Scraggy out of uh, 202 scene. That's pretty good then. You can do the good old shiny swap on community day. What what's that? What's a shiny swap? Mm, under chicken, how's it going? Thanks for 60 likes everybody. Bum, bum, da, da, bum, 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 bum. Is Celsius actually good? Like, the, like what? The temperature? The, the drink? What are you talking about? Oh, put your buddy XXL XX, uh, extra extra small. Yeah, that's... um. I never knew that. Okay. Actually, my daughter, she has her shiny as elf. As, um, as her buddy. And it turns out her shiny as elf is extra, extra large. Find a shiny community today featured just before the event ends. The spawn uh, tables tend to stay the same. The Pokemon that spawns where the shiny previous will be shiny too. Really? Okay. Interesting. I'll have to ch try that out next time. You're talking about the drink, right? Oh, uh, mineral sparkling water. I've never had it before. Billy, what's up? Billy, come in the chat. Good morning, Nick, Hassan, and Cheese. No, good morning, Cam, unless I missed it, which I probably did. Oh, there, good morning, Cam. Yeah, way up there. How you doing, Billy? Billy. 
Uh, I could theoretically use Shiny Swap Glitch on Pogo to any Legendary. I don't know if that, uh, that works. Dum -ba -bum -bum. Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum. I guess Zoroar is still spawning uh, fairly frequently, right? I missed your good morning. I'm sorry, Amber. But I'm not hurt. And Chloe's into chat. Chem is my name. Uh, is my name on a member thing at the bottom? It should be. I updated it this morning, so that list is now 1,340 names long. So it might take a while for you to uh, to see your name, but it should be on there. <laughs> the rocket leaders in Pogo have Shadow Machop, Trapinch, and Cacnea. Ooh, shiny Shadow Machop. Ooh, here we go, we got another egg. Level 16 Charmeleon, nice Muffin Man. No Shuckle Shiny at egg number four. Gotta get your membership figured out. Oh, dang brand account. Yeah, because you can't be gifted, uh... You can't be gifted, uh... A membership on a brand account. I mean, you could, you could purchase memberships and all that, but you just can't get gifted. Oh, man. 69 people hanging out. 63 likes. Yeah, not branded. Uh, hunting with a pro controller today. See if that brings like the pro controller is really nice. Can't see it very well. Your vision's annoying. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of names in there. You'd have to pretty much be watching the whole time. Scrillbo Baggins is your brand account. Yeah, if you can type in exclamation point gifts into chat, and there's a link that will allow you to opt into gifted memberships. And if um you'll be able to figure out there if if you're eligible or not. Uh Will's used up a shiny luck. Trico and Mudkip and Gen 3 games. Oh, you've got the Trico and Mudkip in under 300 resets, man. That's really, uh, that's really fast. Yeah. Gifts, yeah, with an S. Here we go. Nightbot says, click the link to allow gifts. So if your channel is eligible to receive a gifted membership, when you click the link, you can turn it on. It'll tell you if, um, if you're ineligible. Mudkip the morning of the long stream. Seven resets. That's, yeah, that's nuts. And that's what? One in 8,192? There's Chloe's name. I saw your name. Chloe, I just saw it pass. Rewind the stream uh, 10 seconds and, and you'll see. Wonder if your Masuda's broken. Nah, you just got some bad luck, unfortunately. Celsius is an energy drink. I think it is, yeah. You can't have energy drinks, JJ, so no caffeine for you for some reason. And yeah, so you and you still haven't got the one in forty ninety six, but you get the one in uh, eighty one ninety two real easy. When is the one chip challenge? We're planning on doing it Friday. Friday at about one p.m. East, uh, no, one p.m. Central time. One p.m. Central Daylight time. I'll take that where I'm on the list. Oh, you did spot it. Nice. Too much caffeine in energy drinks. Gotcha. It depends on the energy drink. Some have more, some have less. Member for zero days. I can't use the chem emotes. Channel member commands. The worst outcome. Yeah, your your name's not green there. So right when I get to work, well. Uh, no, 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 no. You just don't, uh, you don't like caffeine there, JJ. Mm 
Might look to see if anyone tried the two chip challenge. Yeah, don't don't be eating two. Oh, it's right when I'm eating it. Oh, that's right. Right when I get to work. Oh, okay, fair enough. Gotcha. Well, if you don't need if you don't need uh, caffeine and in that, then that's good. Uh, Eighty-one ninety-two. Yeah. I eat one chip challenge for every non-shiny Pokemon. I haven't eaten a chip yet. No. Teenage me would not approve. Oh gosh, teenage will. Mmm, caffeine. You know that 24-hour live stream? I was uh, hoping to limit myself to two energy drinks. And that's all I had was two energy drinks. I had one at the very start of the stream and then one uh, 12 hours later. 8192 chip challenge where only one chip is pleasant. Oh, I'm really, I'm kind of like dreading that one chip challenge though. I, I think it's going to be pretty bad. Still not touched energy drinks since my OD, okay. Since, uh, since you had all that too much caffeine, yeah. Caffeine keeps those around me safe. <laughs> That's right. Keeps you alert. And not making mistakes and dropping things on people. Abdazer, how's it going? I am alive. Holy moly, yesterday morning though, when I woke up, man, like, I could I could barely talk. My voice really hurt. My lips were all cracked. I could barely even move. I was so tired. Mm, finished the crown tundra. Oh, hunt Placephalon, yeah. I don't know why. When you're... L lifting up boxes uh, for stock. <laughs> I don't know. I slept for a long time, yeah. Did you touch up the head at all? I think I, I checked in the mirror. There was like one spot on the head that had a couple uh, long hairs. And I, I just uh, g gave it a quick uh, once over there. Off stream. Sleep inertia to the max. The grogginess. Uh, Ultra Beast early, yeah, by joining others, that's true. If somebody else has a Blacephalon raid, you can join their raid, and then I think you can save the location. But of course, that uh, requires you to have, to know somebody who's doing that. Four, we're what, 40 minutes in? We're at four shuckle, so ten minutes per egg. That should come down in a little bit. Membership renews tomorrow, though. If it doesn't fix itself, I'll go to YouTube and, and get health. That's weird, because if it renews tomorrow, like, you're not a member now. I wonder why it would, like, still renew. That's weird. Okay, shuckle number five! Not shiny. Yeah, this is uh, this is after Lapras. This is the first one. We did get Lapras. Shiny Lapras. So um, now we're moving on to Shuckle because it's a beautiful shiny. I guess Shucky can be shiny, can't it? When he gives it to you. When he when a guy gives it to you. Did you hear about P. Diddy? No, I didn't hear anything. Guess I'm not finishing. Yeah, if you can join somebody who has Blacephalon, then um, then you can just save the location. I have that one bag where most of them are nacho cheese, but you could ran randomly eat. I think they did, right? Doritos had that, where it was a bag of chips, and most of the chips were normal, but there were like a couple spicy ones in there. Uh, finished a Crown Tundra for Poi Pole, yeah. But Poi Pole's shiny locked anyway in Sword and Shield, so, I mean, it doesn't... Not like you, you you need it that bad. 
Mateo, it's going well. I'm, I'm feeling a bit better now. I'm all rested up. BBA uh, SP can get replacement batteries super, super cheap. Oh, really? Okay. But the battery... Oh, it was expanding. Yeah, you want to make sure you get rid of that. You don't want to let a swelling battery uh, go because if that bursts, you know, you could, uh, it could cause a fire and all that. Okay, not appropriate. All right, then we won't talk about it. Oh, all right. Well, there we go. I saw the uh, the news before it was deleted. Um, well, I hope I hope he goes away then for a long time. If it's if it's proven uh, to be true. Yeah, d game freak. They're d they're just shiny locking everything now. It's it's really frustrating. Okay, another egg. Here we go. Egg number six. Not shiny. Ordered a 24 one and it was max power. Okay. Tons for around five bucks. But the one you ordered for 24 is, uh, is supposed to be uh, a lot, uh, last a lot longer. I want, I want to, I still want to get an SP. I don't have one yet. Gen 10 would have Game Freak, Shiny Lock, nothing is a big milestone. Oh, I think they're going to Shiny Lock a lot of things. Uh, normal is 850. And the one you got is 2000. Oh, wow. So it lasts um, more than twice as long. Holy cow, New Jersey won $1.13 billion from the lottery. So even with probably like half of that money going uh, for taxes, I mean, they're set for life if they can, uh, if they know how to manage their money properly. Uh, uh. Uh, replacing the battery is a lot cheaper than replacing the console. Yeah, that's right. I'd like to get the one, the 101 model. I'd love to get the 101 model, but uh, they're, they're tend to be a lot, quite a bit more pricey than the 001. Uh, I figured may as well. Fancy screen on the way. Ooh, okay. Fancy screen. Being original hardware, yeah, just get a modded screen, yeah. I know people have done uh, the actual Game Boy Advance, like the original Game Boy Advance, and uh, swapped the screen out for a backlit LCD. What should you do with the battery? I'm not sure, um, I don't want to give you the wrong advice, but I'm not sure what you should do with a swelling battery. I know you, you shouldn't just throw it out. There's, um, I don't know if there's like a recycling depot anywhere near you, but you should probably take it there. You get LCD and OLED modded SPs, that's crazy. I'd love that. Not shiny, uh, number seven. Don't, yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't give any uh, bad advice on there. Special pickup uh, days. Yeah, for batteries. Yeah, look, just look into, look into uh, locally. J-Dub, what's up? J-Dub, you still got to, um, you still got to give me a Pokemon to, to draw for you. Brandon, what's up, Brandon R24? You got a shelf of Tokopi third wheel. Very nice. I can't believe I did not get that shiny spear tomb though in Legends. We checked so many outbreaks. Two of the glass screens on the way. One version two, one version five. Okay. Yeah, batteries are considered hazardous waste. You're not supposed to throw them out. I think a lot of people do, but... I know here, we have a recycling depot and you can just bring all your batteries there and they take it and they get disposed of.
Uh, if Nightbot says I catch a shiny Pokemon and I get a shiny Reggie Drago. All right, here we go. Caught a Pokemon. Dang, you didn't get the shiny. 74 likes. Thank you, everybody. We'll see. Uh, we are, you know, 74% of the way, you know, three quarters of the way uh, to 100 likes. We're three quarters of the way to an hour into the live stream. Hit the like button if you haven't done so yet. A uh, thousand checks to hit odds. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, a lot of people either don't know or just don't care. Yeah. I'm not sure, like, alkaline batteries, just your standard AA ones. You're not supposed to throw them out, but I'm not sure how hazardous. It's the lithium batteries that you got to be careful eBay for five bucks. Uh, for, for, sorry, what? Muffin Man, a screen? Battery? The, the new, uh, the new battery? They're pretty, they're pretty, um, inexpensive, according to Will. Uh, Mimikyu is the best mod to put in front of Reggie Drago where you throw balls. Can't be touched. Cannot be touched. All right. Here we go, egg number eight. Mmm, not shiny. Not shiny yet. Yeah, a lot of good, lot of good options. So far, I'm uh, I'm behind on my egg collection. I've only got two two uh, unhatched eggs going on right now. Battery acid can leak. Yeah, exactly. It's not uh, not great for the environment. That's the downside uh, to the the quicker hatches is that you it takes uh, sometimes you're hatching the eggs faster than they get uh, generated. Yeah, the Gen two music is pretty catchy. Yeah, Mimikyu for Drago, Golet, uh, Golurk for Lucky, or Sheninja. That's right, Sheninja's good too. I guess, because, uh, you know, only the super effective moves will hit it, and if it doesn't have any super effective moves. MacBook Air Battery expanded years ago. Oh yeah, that's dangerous, yeah. Fun fact about the GBA SP, my mom bought a normal Game Boy Advance for my birthday one time. Your grandma, not even knowing what it was, found a working, no way, a working Game Boy Advance SP for free. That's pretty good. Uh, Zuler, loving the Gen 2 streams, right on. We're going to be prop maybe once a week, maybe, maybe twice a week, we'll do legendary hunts. Because I do want to get Suicune and Ho-Oh and Lugia, and I know the um, the Roamers are gonna be are, are gonna be a pain in the butt for sure. But man, having the having the Gen two Roamers, Entei and Raikou, with the Game Boy uh, icon on it in Pokemon Home would be amazing. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm I'm well rested, a little bit a little bit sleepy again this morning, but forced myself to get up, and I got to get my sleep schedule back on track. Ooh, another egg, perfect. Expecting something to sparkle today. I am, yeah. Uh, shiny Reggie Alecky, yes, Alecky. I felt like was like just over a thousand for me. How many, how many hours did you sleep off stream? Uh, I slept for about six hours and then I kind of woke up and then I puttered around for a bit, watched a movie because I, then I wasn't really that tired. And then I went back to sleep, woke up, I guess at seven or eight or whatever to, to message the, um, the, uh, discord server letting you know that I wouldn't be going live. And then I went back to sleep and slept for a lot of hours. 
101 and not a 101. It was free work. And hey, you know what? I would I would gladly take a free 001 model SP over paying for a 101. So hard, ended up getting Suicude. Now I'm stuck at Ho-Oh Zuler. Okay. What's your plan for this week? What's my plan for this week's Memberathon? Yeah, we're gonna do that once a Memberathon once a week. I think I think if I did another Memberathon this week, we probably would get like 15 new members, maybe. Everyone's already gone through their budget. Hey, Sax, how's it going? Went exactly 5,000 light years. Exactly, that's pretty good. 24 hours once a week. Let me tell you, we had a thousand, 1,050 channel members. 1,050 channel members on that memberathon. If I could pull 1,050 new channel members every week, I, I would do I would do a weekly 24 hour live stream. But uh, but there's no way there's no way that uh, that uh, we'd get even close to that many channel members. Blocky, what's up? Yeah, the catch command is a members only command. Hmm. Hmm. Just gonna grow back your hair and it will be time for another member thon. That's right. <laughs> out here eight chuckles in 53 minutes i remember when we hit a thousand that whole stream was legendary yeah honestly by the end there i was like okay we're probably i'm probably pretty safe in terms of that one chip challenge and then we had a flood of uh of memberships come in right at the end so friday friday's the day friday is the day of the one chip challenge All right, now finally, look at this. I've got a full box of eggs and one extra now. Close to three years. How many months is it uh, now? Yeah, to shore up my life insurance. Yep, nope, it, we're, our life insurance is good. My life insurance is pretty good. One extra. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> I got an extra egg. Two. Oh my gosh. Two years, 11 months, 19 days. Woo. Every two weeks, so people get their paychecks. Yeah, that's right. Everybody just uh, gift hundreds of memberships every two weeks. That was uh, that was a tough live stream. That was tough. I bet you if I did it like every two weeks, though, you'd, you'd probably get used to it. Ooh, another egg. Here we go. Egg number nine. Yeah, don't. Everybody, it's tax season. Make sure to donate your full tax return. Just uh, sign it over to Chem Nation. Yeah, that I couldn't do that to you. New Pogo event is pretty good. Three uh, min battles. Uh, Shiny Volby, that's right. One in 64. Apparently, there's a bunch of them. Taiwan 1984 made a program where every receipt you get is a lottery ticket. Um, businesses uh, pocketing the money. Um, I don't, I don't see how that would prevent businesses from pocketing money. I'd have to know more information. You didn't get a return, yeah? I gotta, I gotta still do my taxes. I better hurry up. Normally, normally, as soon as like uh, the, the T fours come out, that's what they call in uh, in Canada. I think W two in the U S. Once they get my T fours, usually I I'm right on it to do taxes. But yeah, but I don't know how people keeping their receipts is going to 
prevent stores from doing that, right? So, uh, Volibi is probably uncommon. Saw six while you were out. I mean, even that. Six, depending on how you're out and about. All right, let me open up Pogo now. Let me just see, just in case there's anything. Ooh, I got a Scraggy. Not Shiny. And Cherim. I don't know if Cherim can just be Shiny in the wild. And a Squirtle. Ooh, and an Inke. I don't have Shiny Inke yet. Decided to go look for Volby, but I checked and I had that Shiny. Oh, well, okay. Well, do you have two of them, though, Will? You have two, because then, yeah, you could evolve it. Keith in the building, would you look at all the gamers? How we go, yeah. How we living, guys? How's it going, Keith? Oh, it was in Vietnam, okay, not in Taiwan. You don't evolve your pogo shinies, really? Interesting. How will you get the living decks of shinies in pogo, then? Thanks for 83 likes, everybody. I do appreciate the 83 likes. Getting closer and closer to 100. It's a beautiful day to have a day. That's right. You're going to have a day. Why not have it today? Not much for evolving any shiny. Okay. Fair enough. Just not something you care too much about. Pause that. And I'm going to withdraw this. I'm going to take this egg out, deposit it, and swap the egg. I wish... I wish in the older generations you can collect an egg and it would go right to your PC. But nope, you have to have space in your party. Anytime I evolve something, you regret it. Uh, why is that? Why is that? Just because then you get a, you get a shiny with like better IVs or something? Sounds like someone moving a heavy vase on a stone floor. I'd have to I'd have to listen to that. So we're at 58 minutes into the live stream. Nine shuckles. So we're looking at, you know, a couple minutes will pass, it'll be an hour. We'll get another shuckle uh hatched. And that'll be about 10 per hour to start off. We might be able to bring bring the time down, uh, you know, a minute or so. Don't have a good explanation. Okay, personal preference. All right. Must find Sandrew. All right. I know the the red Gyarados in this generation is good because you can teach it strength, surf, waterfall, and whirlpool. Four to the seven. You can te uh, teach it four to the seven H HMs. Can Gyarados learn fly? I mean, it's a flying type. I guess you don't even really need Whirlpool, do you? To, to complete the story. You need it to get into the, uh, the Whirl Islands, but I don't know if you actually need it. Uh, for the storyline, I don't think you you do. He can't. Okay, he can't learn uh, fly. Flying type, but he can't learn it. Red Gary bows. Yeah, that's that's right. Okay, not many Pokemon where you like the evolution more than the base mod. So you just like to keep them as the base mod. Oh, there's a there's a there's a whirlpool going to the elite four. Really? I know you gotta use waterfall. I didn't know if there was a there was a whirlpool. I can't remember the whirlpool then. Oh, bounce! That's it. That's it. He only learns bounce. It's a flying type move. Okay, there is a whirlpool. Okay. 
Actually, you might need you might you might need Whirlpool to. Uh, dr yeah, in the Dragon's Den. That's what I was thinking. Of. When you beat Claire, when you beat Claire, uh, in order to get the badge, you, before you take that test or whatever, yeah, you got to get uh, you got to use Whirlpool to get uh, through the Dragon's Den. I just, I hate going back from Kanto back to, to Johto. If you don't have the Magnet Pass yet, it's a pain in the butt to go back because then you got to go to the Elite Four and then you actually, there's no way to go back from the Elite Four. Once you beat the Elite Four, the Abra guy, he's gone. So you have to like, yeah, you have to go back through um, Victory Road and then back uh, down the path and through the grass and surf and go back uh, to Johto. But Matty P, what's going on, Matt? Um, Mr. HM has been caught. You got your sand true right on. What, uh, what HMs does it learn? All right, here we go. Egg number 10, double digits. Can we get, uh, Shucky to shine? Not shiny. Not shiny. Uh, you just head home and surf right. Um, yeah, and then it. Yeah, well, to go from Johto to Kanto is easy. You just surf right a couple frames, and then you can you can fly in there. But I'm talking about going back to Johto. Like once you're in Kanto, you can't just fly back to Johto. Gotta drive home to sleep here for one night. Oh, before traveling again. Drive home, sleep for one night, and then you gotta go back on the road. That's crazy. What? Skrillbo, don't... Yeah, don't say that. Strength cut, non-HM, uh, overworld move, dig. Okay. Strength and cut. Top of the morning, Cicero. How are you doing? Oh, man. We went uh, down 30 channel members, I guess. So, 30 channel members uh, expired today. I guess from one month ago. You can't get to Mount Silver and fly to Joe. Well, you. Oh, to Mount Silver and fly to Johto from there? Okay. If you have it unlocked, I guess. Hair equals gone? No, my hair's still there. You can see it. Huh? Yeah, when you hatch the egg. Whoa! Holy Matt gifting 20. You didn't... Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, Matt. Welcome Who's going to get them? Member. Savage Soul. Welcome, new channel member. Sorsa, Alice... Welcome Ashton, I can't, members. they're gonna be coming too fast. I won't be able to read them all. Can Welcome we get some hype for Matt? Member. Thank you very much, Matt. Welcome, new channel member. Welcome, new channel member. If you got gifted just now, please say thank you to Matt. Welcome, new channel member. I don't know uh, how many of, uh, how many of the gift Welcome recipients are in the chat, but if you are, Welcome, new channel don't you already member. have uh, the Gen 1 Shinies from Let's Go? I do, Welcome, but I would love member. to have all of the Generation 1 Shinies Welcome, with the uh, Game Boy Origin mark. Welcome, new channel member. So right now, my Gen 1 Shinies Welcome, in Pokemon Home, member. they have a little symbol showing that they were caught in Let's Welcome, Go. I would like uh, to have it with the Game Boy symbol Welcome, showing member. that they were caught in the Generation uh, 1 or 2 games. Welcome, new channel member. Welcome, Legend right member. there, Matt. Larry Welcome Lightning, how's it going? 
Welcome new channel member. Uh, Lapras, I believe, Welcome was 76 eggs. And here we go, egg number 11 on Shuckle. Can we get to shiny? Not shiny. Not shiny. It is a 1 in 64 chance, though. 1 in 64 chance. Remember hype emote? Yeah, that's weird, Jerry. What's going on with yours? Shucky! That's right. I do have Shucky in the nursery. Trouble with your Pokemon bank. What's uh, going on with uh, your Pokebank? Pause it. Oh, man. I didn't realize I had two there. Shoot. Um... Let's go here then. Withdraw this egg. Gonna deal with it when you get home. Okay, a tip. Pokebank doesn't shut down, no. Pokemon Bank is still gonna be up and running for the foreseeable future. They have not announced a date in which it will shut down, thankfully. But, um, hopefully, hopefully it's up long enough because there's so many hunts that I, that I really want to do before it shuts down. I mean, all of the Generation 1 and 2 Shinies. It's alright, Sax. People want to know. It's okay. Not everybody has the answer. A lot of, uh, so all the Pokemon Gen 1 and 2... Ideally, the Manaphy, which will be a pain in the bum. And uh, there's the Ash Hat Pikachu Shiny. Matthew says, uh, I heard Bank is shutting down today. No, it actually isn't. It's because of the stream title before Bank closes. So that's why people want to know. People see the title before bank closes and they think maybe they missed some information. It's all good. Are you Kim, not Kim on Discord? Yes, that is my name on a Discord. I know, I know you were joking. Let's see here. Um. Oh yeah, I got uh. I got your message there. Okay, we got another egg. Egg number 12. Not shiny, but lucky number 13 could be could be the shiny. Whooper, what's up? Before bank closes, EA prep stream. That's right, that's what I'll be doing. You know, like shortly before. Uh shortly before ZA comes out, I'm gonna be doing Dynamax Adventures with Zygarde. And I'm gonna have the the Legends uh, ZA. Shiny Zygarde prep hunt. <laughs> Kim, not Cam. No, don't do that, J-Dub. No, no. Got the dog from Zygarde. There you go. Yo, Neil, we got the thousand members. It was pretty wild. And, uh... So now I got to do that one chip challenge. I'm going to be doing it on Friday. Prep streams. When we know it won't have home compatibility until long after it comes out. That's right. We'll get the shiny Zygarde. And, uh, and then one year later it'll have home compatibility and we can put it in there. That's You're going quick there, Muffin Man. Donate 20 members. Okay, as promised, you'll donate 20 members on the 20th of May. I'm going to hold you to it. 20th of May, it's crazy. We're going to see, like, see in the bottom where it says members 1330? In one month, that one is going to disappear. Yo, 
what's wrong with being prepped early? Nothing. I'm doing good though, Whooper Channel. I'm 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 mainly resting. Just call every game a prep stream for the next game. That's right. That's exactly right. Play BDSP, we can have a PLA prep stream. That's right. Exactly. Oh, you try to avoid the only prep preparation that you try to avoid is the H. Yeah, you don't want to have to use that. You know how to get good odds in BDSP. Um, well, there are no good odds really in that game. All right, egg number 13. You're going to take back what I was going to say about you. All right. Abdazer, gonna do the one chip challenge straight up or have roughly 80 gallons of milk. I'll have some ice cream, some chocolate milk, and uh, some apparently acidic products help as well. Some vinegar or lemon juice or something. Pokemon Crystal Prep for Gen 3, right? Come on, eggs. Get dark chocolate. No, I'm not gonna get dark chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. You better believe, like, when it comes to spice, I'm a bit of a wimp, so I'm gonna be using uh, whatever I can to cut down on that spice. All right, egg number 14. Whooper, am I doing this on an emulator or a legit Game Boy Color? I'm doing this on neither. I'm uh, doing this on my 3DS. 3DS with the virtual console version of the game. Uh, I'll be doing it towards the end of the stream on Friday. Though, I, I'll, once, I, once I officially have the time set down, Once I officially have the time, um, I'll make a, I'll make an announcement. I'll get the stream scheduled and all that. I'm wondering if I should actually eat it just on a regular stream, and then can you imagine me trying to shiny hunt while I got this burning uh, mouth? Okerator chain of 17 then reset is the best method. I disagree. I disagree on that because uh, just for the fact that you burn through so many repels doing it that way, I mean, it, it may be statistically the quickest method, but quickest by, by which amount. And if you want to get, uh, you know, say two or three, you know, it's not really the best uh, best method then. Dumpster juice method. What is that? Go go into a dumpster and then find a juice at the bottom. I gotta know somebody who's eaten the one chip challenge and also eaten like actual straight up peppers and see how they compare. Some people say peppers, like the actual peppers. Are worse than the chip and some people say the chip is worse oh the 17 method dumpster juice yeah chew the chip and swallows fast yeah well I mean I gotta chew it up pretty good that's a big chip so it does need to be chewed old cam hope you had good sleep I did yep primal uh, Groudon stronger than blue Moby what You can have way too much milk in the fridge. I've already got some lactose-free milk. Too much chip, but no dip. And apparently the one chip challenge tastes absolutely disgusting. Like it's really, really nasty flavor. It's not meant to taste good, I guess. They just put all that spicy powder on it. But I'll also have to remember to, uh, to pick up some rubber gloves because you don't want to touch 
once you touch that chip, like the this, it gets on your hands and you don't want to touch your eyes and all that. Doesn't taste good, hard to believe. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be nasty. Hepto help? I doubt it. It wouldn't cut down on the spice in your mouth. What if you dip that chip in milk? I, yeah, then... Uh, I wouldn't do that. The morning after I worry about... You know what? One time I ate a, a ghost pepper. A dried ghost pepper. And uh, I put the whole... I ate the whole pepper, chewed it up, mashed it up real good in my mouth. And swallowed it. And it was... It was bad. Like, it was really, really spicy. I was running around the house, jumping up and down, doing backflips. I couldn't... Anything I could do to, like, try to not think about the spice. But, um, I didn't have any problems. My stomach didn't hurt or anything. Drink a candle first. Yeah. You don't want to drink a candle, do you, mister? I wonder how many people have actually tried that. And then they like chew, they chew up the thing and then all the wax just gets mixed in and all that. Ugh. Well, backflips, yeah, that's right. I found what helps uh, for me is um, putting ice cubes in my mouth. Because even though like your mouth isn't actually hot, like it's not actually burning, it's just uh, the burning sensation. I find the ice cubes, like, numb the mouth. Uh, when I should- when should I evolve my Pikachu? Uh, I don't know, Muffin Man. Just look up, um... Just look up Pokemon Red, Blue, Raichu on Cerebi. Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Raichu. And then see if it has any pre-evolution moves. That can only be learned as a Pikachu. Uh, an old uh, co-worker's cousin used to make ghost pepper s uh, salsa, and it was good. Yeah, I'm a wimp when it comes to spice, so I, I fully uh, expect that this is going to be bad. I might have to do it uh, full screen, but if I go full screen, I'm not sure, like, I want all my tears and boogers all, you know, visible. you have an emergency number we can call if you eat the chip and start talking to Space Coyote that sounds like Johnny Cash? Uh, my wife should be home, so if I if I have an em a medical emergency, she can take care of it. People paid for those tears and boogers. It's true. It is true. Yeah, I won't get sweaty hair. That's right. But yeah, I saw that it was funny on Simpsons. Homer wanted to eat that uh, that spicy pepper, so he uh, he drank a, a melted candle so that the inside of his mouth was coated with wax, <laughs> so that the spice wouldn't uh, he wouldn't feel the spice on his mouth. I like when he says to Chief Wiggum, "Don't quit your day job, whatever that is." Chief Wiggum. I wonder what his day job could be. Ghost Pepper Challenge turns into Ice Bucket Challenge real quick. Title for the stream. What's uh, what's the title? I was just going to put like Poketuber Eats One Chip Challenge Live or something. That's what I was planning on. Uh... Oops. Ugh. My... Uh... Power cord came out. Edgy! Chief Wiggum is one of the, the... Yeah, he's funny. Come on now, Sax! Smack the back of my head. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, that could work. What's up with smacking the back of my head? Like, what is this joke people talk about? I don't know why people want to smack my head. Just because it's bald? Don't smack my head. Bald man eats a chip and cries, pretty much. They must like your cut, G. 
Apparently, people telling me that uh, that I that the bald head suits me. But uh, but uh, if the boss says if the boss says uh, I don't like your bald head, then then I gotta grow the hair back. Hey, we got another egg. Perfect. Once had chem tokens. That's right. We used to do that, and it got way too spammy. My head looks smackable, okay. Zax wants to see me uh, get dreadlocks. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get dreadlocks. <laughs> they probably look pretty good on Zax, but I don't think they'd look so good on me. Those sunglasses make you look like Vin Diesel from Wish. They're not sunglasses, they're just prescription glasses that are tinted. That way I could shake, uh, shake the locks, okay. Alright, let's get to 2,000 channel members and then I can grow my hair into, uh, into dreadlocks. You can get tinted prescriptions. Oh yeah, you can. You can get uh, prescription sunglasses, just uh, just with a tint or whatever. These are FL41 lenses, so they help with uh, if you get sensitivity to light and all that. Yeah, we need a bald-headed chem emote. I can add another emote if we get to, to 1,400 channel members. I can add another emote, but uh, what I'll probably do is get the bald-headed chem emote and just swap one out. That I currently, uh, current emote, swap it out for this one. Dragon Ball Do-Rag, yeah, right. Two more likes left. Hey, an ungodly money to see Chem with some waves. I don't, I don't know what waves are, but okay. We got pretty close to 1400 yeah we were at 1360 I believe no 1340 we got up to yeah we're 70 70 members away to getting another emote we unlock another emote at 1400 uh, I have lenses that refuse flare in the dark um, wait what Lenses that refuse flare in the dark. What does that mean? Uh, blue tint prescription glasses, translucent white frames. They look wacky. Yeah, you can get all kinds of stuff in there. All right, egg number 15, come on. Not shiny, man. But guess what? There's going to be another egg hatching in about 30 seconds. Still cannot send a member chat. Oh, right, I turned it off. I forgot to turn it back on. Um, Hang on, let me, actually, let me turn that on. Uh, let's see. Um, Earn memberships. Custom defaults, optional features. There we go. I turned it back on, so you might, you might, just wait a minute, you might be able to, to do that. The reason I turned them off um, is because uh, during the other stream, like when I had the total members up there, sending a membership milestone message, then, then it thinks it's a new channel member, and I didn't want it messing with it. Got to send uh, Cam a video on how to do a do-rag. Like, what are you trying to do to me, Sax? Dreadlocks, do-rags, seasoned chicken, come on. Not shiny on number 16. Oh, now they're, they're all coming over. in. Gym leader Hassan, 14 months is crazy. Glad to be here. Poke Castle with 10 months. Welcome returning channel Welcome member. Returning channel That's member. right. We're creating a homie. All right. Um, 
I'm gonna ask for a wave check. I don't even know what a wave is. My hair is wavy though when I grow it out. That must be what a wave is. Two months to get that purple badge. The pink badge, right? That's exactly what a wave is. What, having wavy hair? Hand brush as well. Why, why would I need a, why would I want to brush my hand? Gotta brush it out. You know what, you send me, send me the details. Brushing throughout the day. Magenta, yeah, it's a pinkish purple. Oh, a hairbrush, that's the size of my hand, okay. Gotta brush your do-rag all day. What? You brushed a do-rag? Her hands deserve pampering, too, okay. Of course I should brush them. I do have hair on my hands, maybe that's what he means. <laughs> Man, these shuckle eggs, they seem to be taking a long time. Kieran, thanks for 10 months. Welcome returning. I love when members. Kem gets confused. What? Yeah, fortunately though, I don't get confused very often. And I have to be honest, I do not know... How the heck you have a membership? Well, I mean, we had like over a thousand uh, channel members gifted during uh, the Monday live stream. So I would say there's a good chance you got gifted a membership. Hey Link, what's up? To be honest though, I'm not sure at, at this, you discussing these, all these things I should do. At what point uh, it becomes cultural appropriation, and I, I don't want to be accused of that or anything. I still gotta, I gotta try to be sensitive to, uh, to those kind of things. Hey, Fishy, what's up? Yeah, you don't have to be in the stream to get gifted. As long as you've, like, been in the streams or, or uh, you know, interacted with the channels, you can receive the gifted memberships. Get a full recover. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm mainly recovered. I feel kind of back uh, back to normal. Yes, and Matt gifted 20 subs, so it could have been, been that, too. Are there one-month milestone uh, messages? Yes, there are. There are, but I think you have to... I think you have to, uh, you have to wait a little bit. They don't come in right away. It's not cultural appropriation. If those of that culture... Well, that's true, but I mean... You and, and Sax, you know, just a couple people, right? I don't want other people... Walking down the street. You know, saying, look at this H word. Trying to be be like us, right? I get memberships all the time when I'm not here. Yeah, as long as uh, you're active on the stream. According to YouTube, the more uh, the more uh, active you are, the better chance you have of receiving the gifted membership. Very lucky on this channel with memberships. Yeah, I mean, you'll take it. Okay. Never watched a live stream, really? Young Uni, you've never- This is the first time you ever watch a live stream. Anne-Marie, take care. Hope I get a shiny today, that'd be nice. We're literally one quarter of the way to odds. One quarter of the way to odds, but man, I've got- How many eggs do I have? I've only got two eggs going right now, and I like to have a full- full box of five eggs going. But uh, the shuckle eggs don't seem to be producing that quickly. Haven't been in the streams in like four years. Well, with a thousand channel members being gifted, you know, that's a good chance. Welcome, returning channel member. You got one. 
I, I don't know what that is, but I don't like the sound of that, Chinese. Boom! Look at Joseph flexing to 12 months. The pink slash purple badge. Don't worry, JJ. If you don't know what that word is, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Same uh, shiny hunted on the game. Seems like they're egg droughts. Yeah, and then you get a ton all at once. The logic of this shiny hunting process link. Well, I have a shiny ditto. This is my shiny ditto right here. And if you if you ha happen to have a shiny ditto in the nursery, all of the eggs have a 1 in 64 chance of being shiny. So yeah, it's uh, they, I mean, the eggs take longer than in than in newer games, but one in sixty four chance is really good. Parasec for a second, yeah. There's only limited overworld sprites. Only limited overworld sprites. Couldn't get eggs, so you went back to Bulbasaur. Now there's also keep in mind there's also I think there's a glitch in the game that if you accidentally reject an egg. If you if you if you ask if you want to take the egg and you hit B and you reject it by accident, then they won't produce any more eggs. You have to like actually take them out and then put them back in. Hunt for the ditto mystery. I got the ditto using the Gyarados trick. So you you trade your shiny Gyarados back to generation one, um, and then uh, you. You, you find a ditto, and there's a method that did, you get ditto to transform twice. Use transform twice on your shiny Gyarados, and by doing that, it copies the stats. And then when you catch the ditto and trade it back to Gen 2, it's a shiny ditto. Yeah, ne neglected an egg, and it takes 30 minutes of hunting. That's right. Chucky to Shuckle? That wasn't the case, but thanks for the info. Okay. Just in case. You're ducking as a turkey stuffed with a duck stuffed with a chicken. Yeah, I'm not going to eat the entire one of those. All right, egg number 17. It's a wonderful number. I love that number 17. Here we go. Can we get a shiny shuckle? No shiny shuckle. Gyarados and no mimic. It'll learn trans. Yeah, that's right. Have a Gyarados that knows mimic. Um, You use mimic on the... Uh, on the ditto so that you can learn transform and then when it transforms into you into the Gyarados it'll also know transform so then it'll transform again and yeah it's there's videos on there it's kind of hard to explain finally finished the national decks oh and Omega Ruby enjoy Adrian enjoy that shiny charm Um, it's waiting for 24. What? What? Oh, yeah, the egg. Shuckle R24. Hatched five eggs before it gave me another. Oh, I've had that happen too. You do get some egg droughts, but I certainly have had it, uh... Where it's like you have a full full box of five eggs, and they end up all hatching by the time the next egg comes in. What game did you do the Gyarados trick? Uh, I believe it works for all Gen 1 games, yeah. Speaking of the man, Bran is now in our presence. He's been lurking. Yeah, I believe you just catch the Gyarados in any Gen 2 game. Traded to any Gen 1 game. You also, there's a way, um, it, it actually doesn't need to be a shiny ditto. It just needs to have a, a couple uh, stats. Because the, the shiny ditto, I think, passes down two of the stats. Required, uh, the, the, the two required stats for being shiny. So as long as you have a ditto, even if it's not shiny, that has those the, the two stats, I believe, whatever, special defense and special, I, I don't know, I can't remember which two stats are. Doesn't necessarily have to be a shiny ditto. 
And if you hunt in in the Cinnabar Mansion, it's like a 1 in 150 chance that the Ditto will have the correct stats. So it's 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 pretty easy. You don't actually have to have Shiny Ditto to do it. No Shiny, but both female and docile nature. What? That's a shiny ditto or a pooper, it's a both. It, there's a literal YouTube poop emoji that looks exactly like that. I just took the emote, turned it blue, and then put ditto's face on. Oh, no shiny, but both female and docile nature. Really? At the same time? Imagine you take the shiny Shuckle to Shucky's trainer that just uh, takes your shiny thinking uh, Shucky just got a paint uh, into a paint can. <laughs> give him give him the shiny back instead of the actual his. My brain is not braining. So you're you're dual hunting it and they both been the same is what you're saying. Never-ending Murkrow hunt in Pokemon Go. The bird won't shine for you. Is Murkrow one of the perma-boosted? Shiny living decks? Yeah, in uh, in Generation in, in Crystal. I'd love to have the uh, original hunt 251. With the exception of Mew, because it's not possible to shiny hunt Mew in, uh, in this game or in Generation 1. Okay, dual hunting. So yeah, I mean, females, what, 1 and 8, and then having them have the same nature as well would be uh, pretty uncommon. Oh, Murkrow's full odds, 1 in uh, 512, okay. Shiny uh, Vikabolt, okay. 120, wait, soft resets? How, what do you, soft, what, what game are you soft resetting that in? Random shiny alpha Luxray. Congrats on that. Alright, now I'm back to having a full box. Game Boy Operator work with the Switch Pro Controller. Um, as long as you can connect your Switch Pro Controller to your PC, yeah, you can use whatever controller you want. The Game Boy Operator is just, it's, it, it just, you plug in your game. And you play it on the PC, so you can you can can any any controller that you can connect to your PC. <coughs> All right, egg number eighteen. Here we go. Not shiny. How would I even get shiny Mew in BDSP? Yeah, you can't, unless you had a shiny a shiny Mew from a different game and you moved it through home. You can you cannot shiny hunt Mew in BDSP. How was the memberthon? It was uh, successful. It was a long stream, 24 hours. I've got some, um... I've got a few things to do still. I've got to do the one chip challenge, which uh, is going to be on uh, Friday. I still have to do a chat chooses the pizza topping, so I'm going to get, uh, i got to get a poll set up somehow that uh, you can vote and, and pick uh, pizza toppings. Uh, what, what, what kind of pizza you want uh, me to eat? And then I've also got to put up a poll to see what uh, what Nuzlocke you guys want to see. What game you want to see me do a Nuzlocke. Imagine you could lock the doors in Gen 2. Lock the daycare doors so you, yeah, the daycare man can't get back inside. He's got to stay, stay in there. Chat chooses the pizza toppings. Yeah, so... Um, I'll order a pizza and eat it. Eat it on live stream. But rather than the delicious... Pepperoni that I like on my pizza or, or pepperoni and Italian sausage and all that you guys get to choose the toppings Extra sauce oh mate, that's what you're gonna suggest extra sauce Man uh, What did I eat for dinner um Yesterday I had a pizza <laughs> 
Gamebo upgrade seems pretty useful for a lot of things, specifically backing up saves. That's right, it's only $50 US too. It's great if you have like the old cartridges and you have like a really good save file on it. And, um, but the batteries, like it's an old battery and you want to put in a new battery. You can back up the save on the cartridge, swap out the battery, and then put the save back on the cartridge. You'd choose jalapenos. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst. I'm, I feel rested, yeah. 20 pounds worth of pineapple. I can't, I can't be doing that much pineapple, though. No pizza would with, with beef? I mean, if you guys pick beef as the topping, I'd be pretty happy with that, too. Limited amount of toppings. Well, I mean, I can't I can't put like a hundred toppings on it, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna spend a hundred dollars on a pizza uh, How many days will it take your hair to grow back to normal well We'll have to see I don't know. I can't remember the last time I shaved my head like this Pepperoni and salami you'll do what I'll do is I'll probably uh, put in like a community post uh, something about which topping should I put and then you could just leave a comment maybe list uh, three toppings you'd want me to see and then I'll go through all the comments and pick like the top three most common and I mean kiwi like I don't know anywhere I've never heard of a single pizza place that uh, that has kiwi as a topping. So like you can't just make up any topping you want. The pizza place actually has to have that as an option. Pepperoni and salami, like yeah, I like pepperoni. I like meat on the pizza. Any kind of meat, I I'd go for. Slice the kiwis yourself. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I've never had anchovies on the pizza. Uh, apparently Papa John's does uh, does anchovies on the pizza, but I've I've never I don't know too many places that would do anchovies. Yeah, you're not doing my hair as the topping. They gotta be actual real toppings. Like they can't be just like anything. Oh, put some dirt from outside on the pizza, like it's got to be an actual pizza topping. Put garbage. Put garbage from your garbage can in there. Take the gunk out of the garbage disposal and put that on your pizza cam. No, they got to be real pizza toppings. Now, see, pep something like pepperoni, salami, and pineapple would uh, would be awful. Because then I then I would be combining something actually very delicious with the nasty pineapple taste. And I'd be soiling my 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 pepperoni with that. From Italy, don't use pineapple on pizza. I don't care what you put on your pizza. If you like it, you, it doesn't matter. I don't I don't gatekeep uh, people's pizza toppings. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably put a community post on the YouTube server or yeah, like on my YouTube on the YouTube channel And I'll say You know, we're gonna we're gonna eat uh, these pizza top. We're gonna make a pizza with your choice list three toppings You want me to put on the pizza and then I'll take just like the most common You know, I'll compile a list of all the responses and uh and take like the top three or whatever and put it on there. Yeah, you should list like 15 to 18 different options in a poll. You can't put that many options in a poll though. Otherwise I would do that. Otherwise I would say here, here's all the options, pick. And then, but you can't do that many. Tuna, pineapple, jalapenos. Again, I don't know any pizza places that do tuna. On a pizza.
Pick the pizza place. Yeah, list the... Yeah. List the available ingredients in, in the post. Probably something uh, I'll do. Yeah, 9 plus 10 is 21, I think. That's quick math. Local place did Mediterranean pizza with feta cheese, onions, chicken, and it was incredible. Yeah, I'll pick the pizza place. I'll find out what toppings are, are available. And then I'll, yeah, I'll list those in the post. Ooh, all right, look at this. Now I've got two backup eggs. This is great. My kids always ask me what one plus one is, and no matter what I answer, it's always wrong. What's one plus one? Two. Nope, it's window. What's one plus one? It's window. Nope, it's eleven. Because one and one make eleven. They're always like, it not, doesn't. I can never win that game. Olives are so gross. Almost as hated for me as cucumbers. Yeah, I don't like olives. The worst is like when my wife uh, makes a pizza and then she like puts olives on it and then then I can't eat the I can't eat any of her pizza. Yeah, 1 plus 1 is window. People who hate pickles, I love pickles. Dang new math, that's right. The way they change math. Anchovies, olives, and pineapples. That probably would be like one of the worst things you could do. I mean, oh, but boy, man. If you guys did uh, anchovy, olives, and pineapples. Oh, wow, man. I would love that. Please, please pick that. And then I'll just enjoy the pizza so much. Hopefully you guys don't pick those nasty, nasty toppings like pepperoni and sausage. Oh, I would hate that. Oh, bacon too? Ugh, please don't put bacon. <laughs> you can pick the olives off, it still tastes like olives. Same with pineapple. One time I've had pi like Hawaiian pizza and I picked the pineapples off, but you always miss one or two pineapples and then the juice just gets in there. I'm not adding any of my own toppings, prosks. There'll be no kiwi unless that's uh, unless that's uh, an option from the pizza place. I'm not gonna add any of my own toppings. Stuffed crust, but not with cheese. What would it be stuffed with then? Maybe cheese, but like Limburger cheese or something. Ham is a good topping, yeah. No, I can't. I that would defeat the purpose of just removing the toppings that I hate, picking them off. Stuffed with anchovy. Anchovy, like, yeah, instead of instead of pizza sauce, anchovy paste. Egg number 19, here we go. Not shiny, egg number 19. When's the whooper hunt? I'm not sure. Pause it, the shuckle, let's release it. Withdraw an egg. Anchovy you had uh, was tasty, okay. One time I had like a, a sub sandwich from like uh, some uh, Eastern European uh, uh, restaurant. And the sub sandwich had like liverwurst paste in it. And it was actually pretty good. Ba -da -da, ba -ba. Anchovies a few times, they were hairy. Ugh. Truffle paste instead of anchovy paste. Wellington pizza, yeah. What's gonna happen is I'll I'll pick a pizza place, 
I'll figure out what toppings they they uh, offer, and those will be what you can pick from. So guys, I uh, I decided to pizza place. It's called uh, Benny's Meat Only Pizzas, and uh, they offer pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and ham, and salami, and beef as their options. So uh, you got to pick from there. Hopefully you don't pick any nasty ones. Yeah, we're not gonna do that, Meta Champion. Spam pizza. I still remember one time a friend of mine, he ordered from uh, Domino's, and like, one of the toppings was American cheese. And like, we don't have American cheese in Canada. So he's like, ooh, American cheese. He's like, I wonder what that tastes like. So he ordered it and it was just like melted. It was just like the melted cheese slices on top of his pizza. <laughs> Hate when anchovies come in Caesar salad. Really? I've never had ordered a Caesar salad and come with anchovies. American cheese tastes like plastic. Nah, it doesn't. Ain't it Canadian cheese? Well, if you import the American cheese from the U.S. into uh, into Canada, it's still American cheese. Yeah, I think he was he was like when they he received a pizza and he just saw like melted cheese slices on top. He was like, uh <laughs> You hate seeds in bread, so you pick it all out before you eat it. Really? Ham sandwich. Then just then just eat apple cores. What? Man, if you can get a nice whole grain bread, not whole wheat, because that's trash, but whole grain bread, seeds and stuff in it, it's delicious. Mmm. Here we go, egg number 20. Come on, Chuckle! Not shiny. We call craft singles American cheese. We have craft singles here, but they're different than American cheese. Because you can get craft singles, right, in the US that are not labeled as American cheese. I think American cheese is like a, a different kind of uh, different recipe than the regular craft singles. They taste a little bit different, and they melt. Uh, they melt real nice. The American cheese. They're good for uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. Ores and seeds and stems. Also the sticker. Yeah. Well, don't don't do that. Probably shouldn't eat uh, the seeds or the sticker. Uh, we don't have an exact date building empires. We don't know when bank is gonna close uh, They said it's gonna close eventually My guess will be when legends come out legend ZA Most places that's what American cheese is just a craft single, but does it say American cheese on the package? You think before Legends? Nah, I think it's gonna be after Legends. Cause right now, there I think there's nine Pokemon that are unobtainable on any Switch game. There's the Elemental Monkeys and their evolutions, that's six. There's Patrat and Watchhog, that makes eight. And then there's Furfru. So my guess is once uh, ZA comes out and those Pokemon are available on the Switch, um, then Bank will be closing. Uh, exclamation point crystal suspicious avocado in in this generation if you want to see my entire shiny living decks It's a uh, exclamation point shiny decks Muffin man stop putting a crystal with a K All right egg number 21 
Not shiny. I don't even know if it says American cheese. That's just what we call it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I just know the last time I went to get cheese, you can just buy regular craft singles, or you can actually buy ones that specifically say American cheese. But like, if I get if I get to craft American cheese slices from the U.S. and I get just the regular craft singles from Canada, they they do taste different. Foster parent makes me show her me putting plastic and stuff in the garbage. Sneak into my room and chew on it. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. That's weird. I also think they'll have Gen 1, 2, and 3 in the Switch too? I don't think we will. I mean, unless unless they we, we have to purchase a cartridge. That would be nice. Last time you got raided, we got raided a couple times on the Memberathon. On uh, the Sunday Monday stream. I think you were getting trolled, what? Shiny Shuckle is purple. Yeah, it's more of a purple than a blue in this generation. Shiny Lillipup in Pogo, congrats on Dredge. I still don't have the Lillipup in Pogo. Streaming tomorrow? Yep, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Predominantly Volbeat batch. Yeah, when you're due any minute. I hope you get it, Metachamp. No, it's gonna be Friday, Starlight, or Friday I'll be doing the one chip challenge. The initial plan was to do it on the live stream, but we hit a thousand uh, channel members like right at the end of the 24 hours, and I was tired and probably a little dehydrated, and, and uh, it would not have been a good idea to eat that. No, it won't. Starlighter, it's not gonna not gonna do that. White American cheese, okay. Alright, I think I got four spare eggs in the PC now. A full box, I I think, a full box of eggs here, four in the PC, and then the old man has uh has an egg ready, so I'm not gonna collect anymore. Yeah, that's uh, weird. M sandwich, just chewing on plastic. Maybe like get some chewing gum or something. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks for the 113 likes. If you have not hit the like button yet, please do so. Kazo with white American cheese. I guess that uh, barbecue season's coming up soon, too. We actually got snow last night. Almost April here, and it snowed, though it was just more of a dusting. We still got snow outside. It's supposed to warm up, I think, later this week. It's supposed to see some warm uh, temperatures. Okay, we got an egg. We got egg number 22 hatching. Come on, now. Not... Shiny. Scammed again. Let's see what uh, what the temperature is. Ooh, minus eight? Ugh! Okay, but starting tomorrow, we got plus two, two, three, three, five, six. Holy cow, next Wednesday, 12 degrees? 12 degrees Celsius? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get to get my sunscreen out. I'm gonna be burning up, sweating a storm going outside. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Have to go focus on school work. Take care, suspicious avocado. All right, 22. We're not quite at halfway to odds yet. Hunting a cursed wooloo. What is what is a cursed wooloo? Is it cursed because it hasn't shined yet?
12 degrees that's not hot 12 degrees is hot when you've uh, when you've just come out kind of uh, out of winter you know when it's minus 20 minus 30. You're a white American. Yeah, we're going to turn you to cheese. Uh, shiny odds are increased. 1 in 64 chance. Oh, man. There's like a piece of fuzz in my hair. It's been here like the whole time. 30 degrees Celsius in the UK. Well, we do we do get to 30 degrees here. Um, we get to 30 degrees actually in the middle of summer. But uh, UK would be bad because you guys don't have air conditioning there. Here we have air conditioning. A lot of houses have it. Yeah. So if chewing is this, is stimulation for you, get yourself some like chewing gum or something. Get, get yourself some sugar-free uh, dentine. And chew on that. Get some beef jerky or something. Bum, 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 bum. Don't get why Eric, UK doesn't have... I think it's just the way the buildings are built. I mean, I suppose you could buy, like, an air conditioning unit and just put it in the window. But here, like, we have central air. So all you gotta do is set the temperature you want your house to be. <clears throat> and then uh, the, uh, the air conditioner, the big unit, which is outside, kicks on. And it blows cold air throughout your entire house through the ventilation system. Kid is a person who is under the age of adolescence. It has achieved consciousness. What? You think you'll get to 80k in the end of the year? I mean, I hope so. I hope so. We haven't really been ga gaining any new channel members, unfortunate, or new subscribers. I mean, we have new subscribers, but we're also losing subscribers at a quicker rate. So... Mm. You hate gum. Makes you sick and smells bad. Well, then you're getting the wrong uh, gum if it smells bad. Buy those gumballs. Just buy like one of those big huge gumballs from the machine. And after you chew that for a few minutes, it gets like real, real tough. Loses all the flavor. Thanks for 120 likes. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, jawbreakers, you don't want to chew on those. Get some like taffy then or something. I don't know what you're talking about. Definitions applying to food and whatnot. <laughs> All right, Shuckle, come on. You got to shine here. Thanks for 87 people uh, hanging out here. You appreciate you keeping me company. Maybe later this week I'm gonna try dual dual streaming with the regular form and the long uh, the long form and the short form at the same time. See if we can grab uh, grab some uh, new views through the shorts. Some people they they switch from uh, their long form streams to short forms. And they just get a huge, like, explosion of new viewers and new subscribers. Other people stream in the short forms and then it's, like, no difference. Oh, 
That would mean two separate chats, yeah. Exactly. Short form has helped people grow their channel. Yeah, I've done a number of uh, the short streams, but I haven't really gotten any boost. Like, uh, for whatever reason, YouTube hasn't, like, really pushed out any of my uh, short form content. I see people who get, you know, typical live stream, they would get maybe a thousand views. You know, a couple hundred views. And then they stream from the short forms, and then they get in, like, Four or five thousand views, fifty thousand views per live stream. It's pretty crazy. Two chats, yeah. <laughs> you just have to have to. Why? There's like nothing hatching. It's been a while. Uh, horde hunting in XY, not yet. I do want to do that uh, Starlighter eventually. I did uh, finish my Gen 6 playthroughs, obtained a shiny uh, charm in the games. So I would like to do horde hunting at some point. Alright, here we go. Egg number 23. Can we get a shiny? No shiny shuckle. Sasuke, welcome back. Um, next one, I know Brandon's really wants number 24. The good news is with the one in uh, 64 odds, there's a pretty high probability that uh, that at some point some point we are gonna hatch a shiny on number 24 maybe maybe it'll be a Pichu I already have one Pichu that I got from the odd egg and I'll need to hatch uh, two more for Pikachu and Raichu By the way, Cam, I've been uh, chain fishing Relicanth on and off for a couple weeks. And uh, last night, you spent another 10 minutes. And did you get it, Hefty? 1 in 64 chance, yeah. If you breed with a shiny Ditto, it's a 1 in 64 chance. 24 hours next week, my manager said we need to talk, and we've decided to work within your lauded allowance I want to take care of your number one so I'm getting hours that add up to 1072 a month nice oh you congratulated me yeah but that was an SOS one wasn't it I thought that Relicanth was SOS. Maybe that was... Oh, that was chain fishing. Okay. I Yeah, I thought you were SOS uh, hunting it. Well, there you go. So a little, little bit of extra income for you there. JG, that's nice. Just don't spend it all in one place. Okay, here we go, egg number 24. Egg number 24, is it gonna be shiny? Not shiny, man. Shuckle. 
Why, Shuckle? Gosh darn it. I should I should figure out the um the probability of uh of getting the shuckle or getting a shiny on exactly on exactly number 24. I could figure it out right now. Let me grab out the old calculator. Divided by 64. To the power of 23. Divided by 64. That's not right. Oh, that was right. Yeah, about a 1 in 90 chance. I was thinking in terms of percentage. It was about 1 in 90. 1 out of 90 chance of getting it at exactly 24. So, with uh, 200... Uh, 200 plus hunts. Really, you would expect to get uh, two shinies probably at uh, exactly 24. Wait, did I switch out an egg? Oh, I did already. Ramen, the day's going pretty good. We're like over two hours in a live stream. And, uh,. After doing that 24 hour live stream, uh, like the time on these streams is gonna go by so quick. 122 likes, we're getting closer and closer to 150. Got a 1 in 64 chance of hatching it on the first egg. I wonder what would be the chance of hatching it on exactly 64. Let's see. 63 divided by 64 to the power of 63 divided by 64. One in 172 chance of exactly 64. See, that doesn't seem right to me. Gonna stream for longer? Um, I'll probably go back to, to a bit longer streams. We'll see how I feel today. I'm actually feeling pretty good. How are the odds for all the eggs so good? Yeah, they're just the way the, the way the breeding works in um, in generation two. Sounds low. Um yeah, when you breed uh, the, the same, the Pokemon pass down the same stats that determine whether or not something's shiny. So if you breed with a shiny Ditto, um, not shiny on 25. If you breed with a shiny Ditto, then all of the eggs have a 1 in 64 chance of being shiny. Keep in mind, shiny Ditto is difficult to get. It's actually, if you have two devices, um, with a Gen 1 game on one device and a Gen 2 game on the other device, it's actually really, really, really easy to get a shiny ditto. Sunday, I kind of messed up my clocking in and out, didn't register my 10 a.m. to 2p. Oh, he will fix it. Did you just forget to, to clock in, JJ? Well, that's good. I mean, yeah, he'll fix it. Sorry, JJ, you forgot to clock in. I guess you worked four hours for free. Yeah, easier with the coin case glitch, I guess. Yeah, if because uh, I have two 3DSs. 
with virtual with the virtual console games on it. So yeah, it all it requires is you getting the the red Gyarados, the shiny Gyarados in Gen 2, which is 100% guaranteed, trading it over to Gen 1, um having Ditto trans use transform twice on your red Gyarados. Then you catch the Ditto and trade it back to Gen 2 and it's shiny. It's really easy. Yeah, we'd have noticed and fixed it anyway, yeah. Uh, nay, yeah, you name some boxes and listen to Bellsprout cry and check your coins. I've never actually looked into, into the coin uh, case glitch. Full Volbeat Batch, holy cow, nice. Ooh, another egg, egg number 26. Not shiny on the shuckle. Becomes blue and everything. Yep, exactly. Exactly. You trade it over to Gen 2 and it's a blue shiny ditto. I know, not nice. Volby bad. I know, you gotta get those Illumise. I remember breeding in uh, in Gen 7. I wanted to get a shiny uh, a shiny Phantom with the Harvest ability, which is the hidden ability. If you breed a hidden ability Pokemon, at least in Gen 7, there's a 60% chance that the offspring will have uh, the hidden ability as well. And um, so f I was hatching eggs, hatching eggs, hatching eggs. Finally, I got a shiny Phantom. And of the five eggs that hatched, the shiny Phantom was the only one of the five that did not have the hidden ability. I was pretty salty. Brandon says, always stumps me when a video knocks it out of the park on one social media platform and not the other. Yeah, the algorithms are so weird. Like, people say, oh yeah, the algorithm, you just have to like... You got to know what to do with the thumbnails and you got to know what to do with the, the titles and all that. But you could have two channels. Two different channels. Um, have the exact same video. Exact same title, description, keywords, thumbnail, everything. Everything exactly the same. Two channels upload at the exact same time. And one could do really well and the other one will do really poorly. So... There's definitely more to it than just, oh, you gotta just make sure your titles are correct and all that. If you think about it, that Ditto got its shine from Gyarados, then it's technically not a shiny. Well, I mean, it, it very much in a very literal sense is a shiny. Yeah, it's silly. Like, sometimes it's weird, because I remember my, my bad shiny go away video that I posted. That was, like, the first video I posted that did really well. Uh, egg number 27? Not shiny. So all my videos kind of had similar views, you know, 400, 500, 600 views. Then I posted that bad shiny go away video. And it got, like... It, like tens of thousands of views like it was crazy it was, like so many views on that video and then from that point forward like any video I posted was getting a ton of views tons of views like hunt like thousands thousands of views some of them hundreds of thousands of views after that so it's kind of weird like it's not necessarily the video it's like your channel sort of gets a boost For a while, and then, yeah. It's weird. Uh, no, no, Cam, not according to... I don't... Lore. I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But when I look at the Ditto stats, and it's a blue shiny with the shiny uh, little symbol on it, I mean, I don't know how you could call that not a shiny. 
the game registers it as a shiny, so it's a shiny. Like, there's no... There's no... Uh, discussion about it, in my opinion. Longest egg hunt you've done with this method. Yours is Bulbasaur55. Um, Ultimatron, just type in exclamation point crystal. I think Caterpie is still my longest at 176. 176 eggs just to get a shiny Caterpie. And I'll have to do two more of them as well so I can get uh, Metapod and, and Butterfree. Saying not according to lore outside the game that Gyarados is canonically not a shiny. Outside of the games, well, we're we're talking about within the games, right? These shinies are not like anime Pokemon that I'm getting. In Pokemon Crystal, the red Gyarados is a shiny Gyarados. It's red. It's got the shiny symbol. It sparkles. Oh, people combine the game with the outside. Yeah, it's completely different. I say Rattata. I've always pronounced it Rattata. Apparently it's Rattata is how, how it's pronounced, but I say Rattata. Make sure here. All right, whole box of eggs. The eggs are still coming in hot. I've got four spare eggs in the PC. The uh, man already has another egg waiting for me. Hot eggs! You got hot eggs, yeah. Like that game, Hot Egg. Like hot potato, but it's an egg instead. You microwave the egg and then you pass it back and forth and the egg could explode on you. Actually, don't do that. Don't microwave any eggs. Prosk! Try to keep your language clean. Yeah, ratata or ratata, same. I mean, it still has the word rat in it. Snubble. Snubble's another hunt I gotta do soon. Yeah, apparently if you like... Take an egg and you microwave it in the shell... For so many seconds, um, it like, it'll explode. So don't do that. How do you get eggs so fast? I'm just kind of in a, in a cycle here where I'm kind of getting lucky with the eggs. Every 256 steps, there's about an 11% chance of, uh, of obtaining an egg, so, you know. Every 2,500 steps or so, on average, there'll be an egg. Microwave's not an incubator, no. I have, like, microwaved eggs. Sometimes, like, when I was younger and I wanted to, like, have egg sa- like, eat an egg sandwich real quick. This is, uh, this is Chem Nation's egg sandwich recipe. Take two pieces of toast, put them in the toaster. Take a bowl. I, I usually I spray put uh, smear some butter on the inside of the bowl or spray it with Pam or whatever cooking oil Crack an egg in there scramble it up with a fork put it in the microwave 45 seconds Flip the egg over another 30 seconds and you get a nice little round egg patty And then you you put it uh, in between the sandwich bread with some mayonnaise on it. It's really good. Well, I mean, it's not a it's not a word that like little kids would say, right? We just try. I mean, it's not the, not the worst of words you can say, but it's uh, try to keep it as clean as possible. We got people watching all ages, so according to what source is it pronounced Rattata? Uh, that's what it says in my handbook. In the good book that says uh, all the way the Pokemon names are pronounced. 
contrary to popular belief, all toasters do not toast. They do not toast toast, they toast bread. Well, that's, yeah, true. I don't know anybody who says they toast toast. They turn bread into toast. Well, it's a cuss to some people, right? Prosk. To some people, they consider it. I mean, my, my, if my kids said that in my house, what the H-E double hockey sticks? If they said it out loud, I would, they would probably get in trouble. He never toasted toast. You, yeah, he really he likes it. Uh, he likes it black. Well, sometimes I do. It pops out, and it is toast. It's been toasted, but it's not toasted enough, so I do put it back in. Uh, there's a Mario Hotel clip where Mario says, You know what they say, all toasters, toast, toast. I mean, they can toast, toast. Not wrong. A toaster can be used to toast, toast. Black toast. I don't like my toast like that, uh, that dark, though. A nice medium brown color. That's how I like my toast. Almost at, uh, we're almost at halfway to odds. Getting close to 32 eggs. Well, the point of a toaster is to toast things. Doesn't matter what you put in, you can toast it. Here we go, egg number 28. Can we get the shiny shuckle? Nope. The old man is there. Yes, he is. Yes, he most certainly is, but I have a full box of uh, eggs. Oops, I don't want to name this thing. Can you toast a fork? Uh, no. Alright, enough of this toaster talk, this nonsense conversation. I don't want to talk about toasters anymore! Stop gatekeeping my toasting. If I want to toast toast, then, then let me do it. Okie dokie, get out of my way. I'm trying to ride my bike here. This lady should watch uh, where she's going. Great grandfather boo, shuckle! That's right, we're hatching, uh, going to hatch shiny shuckle here. Muium Z? No, I don't get it. Don't make me put the word toaster in the band word list. I mean, we might get a... we might, uh... yeah, don't say that, grandfather. We gotta keep the uh, language clean in the chat. Uh... Come on, Chuckle. I like having another egg ready to collect by the time an egg hatches. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna ignore any message. It has the T word in it. All right, we get another egg. Number 29, can we get a shiny? Not shiny, man. Oh, Cottony doesn't have the thing anymore in Pogo. 
Cottony doesn't have its uh, little flowers anymore. I didn't get the shiny with the flowers. All right, nothing, nothing shiny in Pogo. The T word. It's that thing that do you. Uh, it's that thing that you put bread in to make it uh, crispier. Strudels, yeah, they're good. Tyrantrum's fire, yeah, that's okay to talk about. Uh, wife got the shiny costume, Cottony, so naturally she traded it to you. That's nice. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I, I believe they were full odds, right? Like one in five, twelve. For the Cottonies. Full odds, yeah. You can talk about how you believe that, uh... Ryolu, Pikachu, and Lunala are the best Pokemon? That's right. I don't, uh, I don't see your message, uh... There. J-Dub. Because it has bad words in it, so I'm not gonna read it. Uh, what do you think is the best team for Heart Gold? Ernie, I used... I just, honestly, I just used my starter Pokemon for just about everything. My overleveled starter. What is this guy's deal? Yeah, right? How dare these people? They try to bug me with, with certain words. Um, Strudel, I think, in a one series. Oh, I I saw that movie a long time ago. I can't remember the scene. A lot of Zorua. Yeah, a lot of Zorua spawns. And they're one in 64, right? My daughter got the shiny Zorua, I think right when it was first released, but uh, I didn't get one. Yeah, well, we had the memberathon, right? We had our uh, our memberathon. So one of the incentives was if we reach 500 channel members, then uh, then I would shave my head. So we hit 500 channel members. Zorua was one in 512. No, I believe isn't it one in 64? Oh, he was in the movie, was he? Really? Zoro was full odds. Then maybe maybe when they first released it, it was 1 in 64. Ooh, we got another egg! Not shiny, okay, 1 in 64 in the event it was introduced, gotcha. Doesn't, it doesn't mean that, uh, that you're guaranteed to get it in 64, Lunala, no. Just means that each egg is, a uh, 1 in, is a 1 out of 64 chance. Think of, like, flipping a coin, right? There's a 1 in 2 chance. That when you flip a coin, it's going to be heads. But that doesn't mean if you flip the coin twice, you're guaranteed to get heads, right? You can flip the coin five times in a row, get tails every time. Over 100k Zorua caught live shiny reports full odds when it was introduced. Really? I swear, because people were telling me on the event when it first the shiny was first released... People were saying it was 1 in 64. Legend Z, yeah, increased the shiny rarity to 1 in 80... 896,000, that's right. Yeah, that's a... No, that's uh, not 0.01%. Maybe 1.5% chance. Green Inferno. Uh, I don't know if I've seen it. I might have. Probably be 1.56%. 1 divided by 64 times 100. To get the, to get the percentage. 
Nope, that is, you forgot, you forgot to multiply by a hundred to get the percentage. Yeah, so one divided by 64 times 100 gives you the percentage. All right, here we go. Uh, 31. Egg number 31. Can we get the shiny shuckle? Not shiny. Uh, no, I probably haven't seen it then. Uh-oh, I'm running out. Now Now the eggs are slowing down a bit. I'm running out of uh, backup eggs here. I'm gonna have to start, uh... I'm gonna have to start, uh, filling up this box again. Longest SOS hunt was Clam Pearl. I believe it was 986. 986 for Clam Pearl. Yes, every every individual egg is a 1.56% chance of being shiny. That's right. Imagine a bag with 64 marbles. You know, a bag with 64 marbles in it, one of those marbles is the shiny marble. <clears throat> every time an egg hatches, you reach into the bag, pull out a marble, if it's the shiny marble, yay, you get a shiny. But if it's not a shiny marble, then you just put it back in, mix them up, and then you in the next egg you pull out the marble. Three times odds, yeah, that's about three times. It was it was three times odds, yeah, for sure. I kind of at that point nine eighty six. I kind of wanted. To see it go to a thousand, just so that I could say we went to a thousand, but then yeah, it didn't. Be happy if they change the shiny odds to the original uh, Overworld uh, one in eight thousand. I, I would be okay with that. With Overworld shinies, if they brought it back to one in eighty one ninety two, that way they wouldn't be so common. I would, uh, I'd be down for that. No shiny shuckle yet. No Captain Shakes. Not yet. Next egg, uh, egg number 32 will be halfway to odds. We'll be halfway there. One in 64 chance. Here's another egg hatching. Here we go. One in 32, 32 eggs. Not shiny. Not shiny. Shiny Lunala pops out of Kem's luxury ball. Heck no. My shiny Lunala is in a standard Pokeball. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet, especially with the outbreaks and the sandwiches, like the shinies were way too uh, too easy. Yeah, shiny shuckle is sh shuckle. Overworld shiny sound. They might if they if they go with a similar theme, similar catching mechanics as the as the first Legends game. Uh, I would uh, I would think they'd probably bring back the sound. You watch Winnie the Pooh, you gotta let me know if the comparisons to Terrify are accurate. I'm I'm gonna go on a limb and say probably I don't know what the how they're saying uh, in comparison. Like in what way they're comparable. It's not in uh, Ultra Moon, no? I don't know. I mean you could you can transfer it in to Ultra Moon and then I guess breed uh, with e eggs breed a Masuda method, but... But I guess, yeah, it's not natively in the game, I guess. Oh, the egg, uh, egg production is now, uh... Slowing down here. 
How do I add a virtual console to the 3DS? Well, you have to purchase it, purchase the games from the eShop. The eShop's closed now, so you can't buy them anymore. Yeah, we're halfway to odds. That's right, halfway to odds. 2DS is homebrewed, then I, I would have to, I, you'd have to look online, I don't know. Mine, uh, my 3DS is not homebrewed, so. These, uh, the, the, what I'm playing here is a legit, legit copy purchased from the eShop. Oh, plot. Paper thin plot. Are being compared to art, okay. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, uh, I don't know, if I see it. I'm not sure I want to spend 11 bucks to see that movie. Yeah, I guess it's a limited, like, three-day theatrical release. And then, uh, and then there's no word on when it will be available to stream. So, apparently there's like, yeah, there, there's no streaming service that has it. On your 2DS? Yeah, if, you, if it's homebrewed, I'm sure there's a way. But I don't know how to do that. Yeah, Art the Clown, he's an interesting character. I'm, uh... I'm looking forward to the third movie, seeing what they're doing with the third movie. <laughs> Contemplating seeing God. Ooh, Godzilla on the weekend. Okay. Grilbo, you're you're driving. Uh, you're coming to Manitoba, right? To to see uh, see Blood and Honey too. I don't typically go to to the theaters to see movies. I saw Terrifier two in the theater when they brought it back. Um, mainly because I because I wanted to to get the free poster. And uh, and see the sneak uh, sneak peek of uh, Terrifier three, and then the last movie I saw before that was Halloween Ends, and man, that movie stunk. Probably the worst worst movie in the entire Halloween franchise, with the exception of maybe the director's cut of Curse of Michael Myers. That was pretty bad too. Um, in Ultra Moon, what Pokemon? Um, what method are you are, are you hope are you thinking for? Yeah, Nirnjan, the hair's gone, man. We we uh, shaved it off as part of the uh, the memberathon. Booked in Ghostbusters. Ooh, okay for Saturday double feature. SOS or Masuda method? For me, SOS. The one that comes to mind is uh, Picky Pack. Resurrection was bad, but it was entertaining. Yeah, it wasn't certainly was not the best, but uh, but I'd, I'd watch that movie any day over Halloween ends. Yeah, Nirenjan, how you been? We'll have to wait to see how long it takes my hair to grow back. I know Sax Killer wants me to get dreadlocks. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I did in, in high school, I had shoulder length hair, and uh, somebody in my class took my hair and put it all into like, braids, so not, not like dreadlocks, but they like, they were braids, so similar look, and, and I, I lost a picture of it. Alright, 33 eggs! Not shiny! On egg number 33. Cornrows, not cornrows. They weren't cornrows, because they weren't like 
They weren't like, shh, like they were like, just like the strands of hair were like braids that would like hang down. Uh, uh, good cam. Oh yeah, way for studies. Okay. So you got some more? Are you are you still doing a lot of studying, or do you got uh, you got some free time now? The one guy from Corn, maybe. Box braids? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the terminology. I'll look it up. Yep, pretty much like that. Yeah, that's that's what I had. Uh favorite Pokemon game? Probably like maybe Heart Gold Soul Silver. I really love the Johto region and then uh, and then Heart Gold Soul Silver is Essentially this game, but with like extras in it. So no shuckle yet. 33 eggs were ha were more than halfway to full of two two odds here. One in 64. What's going on? Chemical Nation. Uh, Ultra Moon, Alpha Sapphire, Arceus. Okay. Those are good games too. Ultra Moon is probably one of my favorite games to shiny hunt in it. Because I do love the Ultra Wormhole hunting. And I really like the uh, SOS hunting as well. There's also Island Scan too, which is uh, kind of a neat way shiny hunt oh no classes for the next 15 days but oh but you still have assignments lame hey you got 15 days off but you got to do work that's kind of really lame Oh yeah, I wish I could just send, uh, when he has a new egg, I wish I could just send it right to the box. We had to do packets of work on your break? Yeah, that's lame. Oh! <laughs> Literally, the egg is hatching right now, okay. In the nursery it's hatching, they get to watch it hatch. Egg number 34? Not shiny! Dang! The old man and, and the old woman, they, all, they could have potentially saw a shiny Pokemon hatched. You're gonna watch Godzilla vs. Kong, yeah. You went to see the subbed version, okay. Shiny Rayquaza and Shield, hey, congrats. Beautiful shiny, I love shiny Rayquaza. One of, one of the best shiny legends. I don't know, I don't, uh... I don't, uh, I don't think homework is a good thing. I don't think teachers uh, should assign homework. It's one thing if you have work to do and, and you don't finish it in class. Maybe spend a little bit of time at home. But uh, to specifically assign work to be done outside of school time, I, I don't agree with, with that uh, method of teaching. Take a break from shiny hunting, are ya? Ultimatron starting to be unfun. Yeah, play some Zelda game. That's true. Yeah, you're not. Uh, you shouldn't be forced to, or feel forced to shiny hunt. If you don't like it, if you're getting bored of it, put the game away. Right? There's no shame in that. Friend uh, Peter got shiny Rayquaza Pokemon Go last year, and you're jealous. I got it uh, during Go Fest. Yeah. New version of my ear hook buds, 76 hours. Seven, oh, 75 hours, okay. 
up to 75 hours of uh, playtime. I'm assuming that's like including the uh, including the battery life of the charging case. I don't think uh, earbuds are gonna get 76 hours without a charge, but yeah, I guess with the case, that's pretty good though. Shiny Groudon and go, nice. Yeah, it was the Groudon. Uh, it was the Groudon uh, raid day last weekend. So it was like what one in is it was it one in ten chance? Is that what the odds are during the primal? Kyogre and Groudon. Oh, we got four of them. Wow, okay. That's a lot. I only got one. My daughter got two. Your chemical Nation, he is, but he doesn't have a phone. So what, what does he... How does he watch the content? Just on a PC? Withdraw back the original egg. 134 likes. We are getting close to 150. Oh, an Xbox. He watches on his on the Xbox YouTube. Okay. So yeah, I guess there's no uh, no way to chat, eh? 50 hours and then uh, 10 10 hours on a single charge, and then the case holds 50. Pretty good. I'm not sure what I have the Apple AirPods AirPod Pro. I'm not sure what the what the battery life is with the case on that. And I can't remember. Shiny Entei looks good in this game. It, I would I really would love to get it. Yeah, 15 in in yeah, 15 hours. That's pretty good. For earbuds. Yeah, none of that, Muffin Man. I think I did get a sponsorship offer from from them, and I said no. Okay, egg number 35. Can we get Shiny Shuckle on number 35? Not Shiny. Some of our uh, resources at work. Oh, you got hacked and they've been working to start 13 hours. Yikes. That's not fun. Man, some of these eggs are like hatching out of uh, sync. Painted blue over the red, yeah. That's like a fake shiny. It would look shiny, but then when it when you put it out into uh in into battle, then um then it wouldn't sparkle. Have you had the Mandela effect? No, I haven't. I know, I know, it's a common joke. Gotta paint paint it to look shiny. Who is it? Shadow Mewtwo this weekend? Are they raids? Shadow Mewtwo raids? <laughs> Tyrogue is a weird but awesome shiny. It's pretty cool, Tyrogue. He's got blue short pants or blue trunks. On. I like, uh, it's interesting, in this generation, the, uh, the Smeargle, the regular Smeargle and the shiny Smeargle. Look at this! It's hatching right as I went to the box. Not shiny! Depending on where you live, it might be hard to find uh, those. 
Shadow Mewtwo's in 5 star shadow rates, 30 to 31st, okay. Is it 1 in 20 chance of being shiny? He's sad in the picture because he's not shiny, right? You don't see anyone going to Shadow Raikou raids? Okay. Shadow Mewtwo is pretty powerful though, so those might be those might be more popular. I don't know, is uh, is it similar to the Groudon and Kyogre where you get like uh, extra passes or is it just is it just your regular 1 in 20? Okay, 1 in 20 shiny chance uh, says fill up, and you probably just get your one free daily pass, right? Alright, I gotta try to start uh, hopefully uh, filling up this. Uh, this uh, box with some more eggs here. I, I don't like, I don't like not having another egg ready for me when an egg hatches. Shadow Mewtwo, one in twenty in the raids. I might, um, I might go with my daughter and, and do a couple of them. Hope one day in a the game they give Mewtwo an armored, uh, give Mewtwo an armored form. Um, like in, in the main games, right, you mean? Like, cause you get armored Mewtwo and Pogo you want in the main series games. Is armored Mewtwo like one of the strongest, uh, Pokemon? In Pogo? Okay, Shadow Mewtwo is. Thanks, Dorian. All right, so Shadow Mewtwo raids this weekend. Maybe I'll take uh, my daughter down to the park and see if there's other people playing. It's too bad that it's not the one in ten. I'm guessing. I'm guessing you don't get uh, bonus passes. There's not like a ticket for it, is there? That you can. Uh, get additional passes or something. <laughs> yeah, no ticket, okay. No ticket, just your free, one free daily pass. Let's see what's in the shop here in terms of tickets. I don't want a remote raid box, that's lame. So, 250 coins for three passes. Ooh, there, oh, there's a Volibee here. Oh, not shiny, dang. My favorite steel type Pokemon? Uh, I don't have a favorite steel type. Murkrow, not shiny. We got windy weather now, which boosts flying types. It would be it would be a good time to go out looking for Volibees now. I've got, uh, I've got about 20 normal raid passes left. 
but uh, my daughter doesn't. She has maybe like one or two passes. So... She, uh... She would have to get pretty lucky to get that Shadow Mewtwo. Shiny, anyway. You got two Volibee Shinies and 11 checks, John. That's pretty awesome. Depending on what time the, the family gets home. If my daughter's not too tired, I might, uh... We might go for a little drive. And look for some Volibee. Yeah, it's 1 in 64, I heard. The perma boosted. Yeah, and right now it's windy, so you got I got a boost on flying type, so that's that's nice. What uh, what weather boosts Volibee's type? I guess windy is is for flying. What uh, what kind of weather boosts dark types? Have to keep an eye out on that. Fog? Oh, foggy weather? Okay, well, we never get foggy weather here. Thankfully, it's been pretty windy here lately, so... That might, uh, that might be good. Let me just look at what the weather's, uh, like today. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be windy, like, all day. Might even go out for a walk after. All right, egg number 37, come on now. Not shiny on egg number 37. Thank you for 137 likes. See if we can get that up to 150 under likes. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Deposit, shuckle, get rid of that, withdraw this one egg. I don't like having an empty box of eggs like that. Shuckle equals a scam. Well, we're not over odds yet. We're not over odds yet, so, I mean, we're only at 37 eggs out of a 1 in 64 chance. Ooh, there we go. We got an egg. Cycloptics, you're still guessing 61. Okay. We've been live for three hours. Three hours we've been live. Um, 37. So that's about 12 per hour. 12 per hour, so that's one one every five minutes or so is sort of what we're averaging on these eggs. Oh boy. Oh boy, 37, let's see. We got, typically, normally we'd only have about 25 minutes left in the live stream. Might go a little bit longer today. I wonder if my wife's on the way home yet. She is, yeah, she's on her way home. She's probably like four and a half hours away. All right, egg number 38. Not shiny. Uncultured opinion, I like Shuckle, it's kind of cute. Kind of dorkly, uh, I mean, I don't know if that's uncultured or unpopular. I think, uh, Shuckle is... I think Shuckle is, um... Is cute, I think a lot of people like Shuckle.
I haven't saved my game in a while. I should save here. Chuck will get some kind of new form mega regional Evo. I mean, I kind of I kind of like when they leave the old Pokemon alone. But uh, but it's pretty popular. I do like Shuckle. He sure does have high defense, though. I've got a question here. I don't know how anybody here uh, has experience with like building PCs or anything. I have a an external hard drive, Western Digital, uh, external hard drive uh, that has been formatted to the what is it NF uh, or NTFS format, which is like Windows format already and it has some files on it if I like take the the hard drive out of the external casing and connect it via SATA in my uh, PC will it like will I have to then reformat it again or will it just be like would it be good to go because I don't want to lose the files on it I don't know if there's anybody in the chat that knows the answer to that question. Baby form shuckle named Shucks. That'd be cute. I really think a baby Lapras form would be cute. We don't have a baby Lapras, and I think that would be cool. And call it Lappy. Lappy, yeah, that would be really cute. Bum, ba, na, na, da, da. on now uh danny how is it one in 64 chance so in the original gen 2 games if you breed with a shiny ditto which i have in the nursery then all of the eggs are one in 64 chance so i've got shiny ditto in the nursery and then any pokemon i breed with the shiny ditto is a one in 64 chance It's pretty pretty nice because the same uh, it's actually the stats that determine whether or not a Pokemon is shiny or not and um, when you breed Pokemon they pass down their stats or they pass down some of their stats so a shiny Pokemon is passing down some of the stats required for a shiny uh, is there a trick to get a shiny ditto? There is. If you have a copy of a Generation 1 game and a copy of a Generation 2 game and you have the capability of trading between those two, then yes, you can get a shiny ditto, like, guaranteed. It requires you trading your red Gyarados from, uh, the shiny Gyarados from the Gen, from Gen 2 back into generation one and then having ditto transform into it oh of course right after I deposit the egg there we go we get uh, we get one hatching not shiny on egg number 39 
nearly at 40 eggs, but again, it's a 1 in 64 chance, so... I mean, one day it could hatch at any time now, really. I think there's a way to get shiny Shuckle, uh, Jesse, and Old Man Shuckle. What are you talking about? Uh, it does work on the 3DS Crystal version. Yep, because that's exactly what I'm playing on. Yep, as long as you have, um, like, I have I have two 3DS devices with with virtual console games on, on each device, so I have the capability of trading between the two systems. If you only have the one system, then, uh, then you can't really do it. Oh, yeah, the hunt for juice from Shuckle, yeah, the episode, the Shuckle Juice. That's right. Wasn't it? Wasn't it blue shuckle uh, juice? How many Nintendo Switches do you have? Three, four, four. Thomas, we were just talking about it. One in sixty-four, just because of the way the uh, breeding mechanics work in this generation. If you breed with a shiny Ditto, then all of the eggs will have a one in sixty-four chance of being shiny. Nobody know, nobody you know as a uh, Pokemon Yellow. I'm stuck doing the Gyarados version, yeah. Uh, would a shiny Gen One have lower odds than Gen Two and up? Well, there are no shiny Pokemon in Gen One. Traded your stepmom and Pogo Shiny Shuckle for Shiny Rayquaza. Really? I think you got a good deal. I think I have a couple Shiny Shuckles in Pogo. But yeah, if, if you have two devices, and you have uh, one device has a Gen 2 game and the other device has a Gen 1 game, and you can trade between the two devices, it's really easy. There's also a way that you can utilize your red Gyarados. And, um, and breed with a red Gyarados, and then all of the offspring will have a 1 in 128 chance. So, it's not 1 in 64, but it's still 1 in 28. 128 is really good. Um, and you can use the Gyarados to breed almost every single Pokemon. There's, um, there's a guide out there somewhere that shows you how you can use your red Gyarados to, yeah, to, to shiny hunt just about every single Pokemon in the game at uh, 128 odds. Yeah, well, there's... Okay, well, there's not shiny Pokemon in Gen 1. The shiny Pokemon didn't exist, but because in Generation 2, shinies were based off of the stats of the Pokemon, the hidden stats, if you trade some Pokemon from Generation 1 to Generation 2, they become shiny because of the stats. But yeah, they were never considered shiny, but yeah, I know what you mean. Masuda method didn't exist. No, not until Jane, uh, not until Generation uh, Four, I believe, is when Masuda method uh, was first introduced. And uh, you actually don't, you don't even need. Uh, to have shiny Pokemon in the nursery to get the boosted odds because uh, the way it works is the Pokemon will pass down two specific DVs out of the four. There's four, four different stats I guess that determine whether or not it's shiny. 
and uh, and the Pokemon will pass down two of those. So if you breed your say Red Gyarados, male Red Gyarados with a female Ekans, say, then once you hatch a female Ekans, which is the opposite gender of the Gyarados. It will have the shiny genes. It won't be shiny, but it will have the two, uh, two things uh, necessary to pass down. I, it's hard to explain on the stream. Shiny shuckle number forty. There it is. Bingo, bango. Shiny shuckle. Just as Darkville's coming in with the bald nation. Here we go. That is beautiful. I love that coloring. It's almost. It's like purple in this generation. He's still looking sad. He's still looking a little bit sad. All right, that is gorgeous. I love that. Perkle, yeah. <laughs> a minute behind. Dang it. Oh, so Amber, you just saw the all the GGs and congrats in the chat before it happened. Dang. Yeah, it does look good. like look at the difference between that like on on my game and then the sprite down there it uh, it is a little bit different but that is very nice periwinkle color oh you heard it on Dorian's phone oh, okay <laughs> just as you join very nice all right let's save the game now we were gonna do Eevee next so I don't know how to get Eevee. Where where do I find Bill in here? Like, where is Bill? Is he, like, down here? Like, in this house or something? Whoa, wait! Oh, that's right. I gotta put uh, Pokemon in. How come I'm in Bill's house and he doesn't even have a Pokemon thing? He doesn't even have a PC in his own house. Random opinions, you got it right, yeah. I don't know where he is, but then I went straight to his house. Yeah, that's right. Alright, uh, let's put uh, Shuckle away. 19, I got this box 14 of shinies is almost complete. All right, let's deposit that beautiful shuckle. Look at that beautiful, beautiful coloring on the shuckle. And uh, there we go. We'll change the box. Um, I'm gonna put the le these leftover eggs in here. Welcome Random opinions. Ten months. Thank you very much. For the 10 months. Next Mon is going to be Eevee. Now, Eevee has a longer hatch cycle than, uh, than normal, but it's not as bad as, uh, as the uh, Lapras. Cleared an entire bowl of my favorite soup for breakfast. Soup for breakfast. Soup for breakfast, okay. Shiny Shuckle in the anime has Gen 2 shiny colors. Oh, the purple! What if that Eevee... Let me just check, because that Eevee could be shiny. Oh, it's not even shiny. What the heck? Hey, it's a female Eevee. Is it always female? Is Eevee's like what? One in eight chance? Wonder if that's how they pitched cereal. Back when it hit the market. Get your morning soup! Okay, even in this generation, 12.5% uh, chance, 1 in 8 chance that it's a female. That's cool. 
Man, 2700 bucks. Watch that egg be another shiny, right? Um, I'm gonna hatch the other shuckles, but I'll probably do it off stream. All right, let me go and deposit this. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Get rid of that uh, shuckle back into the box. Change the box back to uh, this. Oh, I got two eggs in here. I may as well hatch those eggs. Just to kind of clear out the box and we get a fresh, fresh empty box here. And then while I'm uh, waiting on EV eggs, we can hatch some more uh, shuckles. Hatch a couple more shuckle here. Okay, let me just quickly uh, switch out the sprite. go reset the counter okay and there we go you missed the shuckle yeah we got it we got the shuckle 40 eggs I think I still have to add Lapras and shuckle to the um to my spreadsheet. Let me just see here. How can I do this? Um, okay, let me sign in. Okay, all right, let's see. Did I put the Lapras in yet? I don't think I did. Um, where's Lapras? I didn't. Lapras was 76, I believe. And then I gotta find Shuckle. On the list. Here's Shuckle. 40, and we're sitting at an average of 52. 52 eggs per shiny is the average. How many how many total of I have shinies do I have so far? 23. 23 to Gen 1 to uh shinies. 228 more to go. I didn't get shucked in the head, that's right. Tomato soup is gross. Oh, you don't like tomato soup. What the heck? Yeah, tomato soup's great. Especially if you dunk a grilled cheese sandwich into it. Oh, so good. How do we get those odds? 1 in 64. If you breed with a shiny ditto. If one of the parents in the nursery is a shiny ditto. Then you get 1 in 64 odds always. If you don't like tomatoes, you probably won't like tomato soup. I find tomato soup and tomatoes, they don't really taste the same. But yeah, this is Sarah's um, Sarah's pick since on the on the member thon Sarah was our top gifter, so she's uh, just a little bonus on top of which uh, the other stuff. She got to pick the next hunt, which is Evie, and then the current current top gifter right now, who is Matt, will get to pick the next hunt. Whoever's in the top gifter spot once the Evie shines uh, gets to pick the next spot. Pureed tomatoes with some extra stuff. Yeah, they maybe put in some spices and some different flavorings. Good tomato soup. I don't mind even canned tomato soup. But to each his own, right? I mean, and, and, uh, enough people enough people like it that uh, that they sell it in the stores, right? If it wasn't good and nobody liked it, they wouldn't sell it. Um, I like it. Some people don't.
Canned tomato soup is okay. Have homemade tomato soup and your opinion might change. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like looking up some recipes on how to make like my own soups. You could buy like canned tomatoes or whatever. You could buy the whole, buy fresh tomatoes, but you can get, uh, you know, pureed tomatoes or diced tomatoes or whatever in a can. Make your own soup that way. It's a lot of work, I guess. It's, I mean, you buy a can, you open it up, put it in the pot and warm it up. I mean, it doesn't get easier than that. Ooh, yeah, you make some homemade tomato soup every summer with your homegrown tomatoes. I wouldn't mind trying to grow some tomatoes, but I don't know. Mexican rice has tomatoes in it. So I'm assuming that's a recipe. Um, still waiting for the first Eevee to, to egg. We haven't got an Eevee egg formed yet. We might go a little bit longer on the live stream. I wouldn't mind hatching a couple Eevee eggs. Still waiting. There still has not been an Eevee uh, egg produced. I should actually go into the... Uh, here and actually make sure that I can breed the... Uh, It's friendly with Ditto. Okay, so they will it will produce eggs. If you check the Pokemon in the nursery, and it says that it's brimming with energy, that means it'll never produce an egg. That's right. We're waiting for the first Eevee to egg up. Yeah, if the Pokemon in the nursery says that it's brimming with energy, it will never ever produce an egg. You know, since I'm going to have... No, that won't work. I was saying, since I'm gonna be hatching... I'm gonna need at least six Eevees. It might be beneficial to breed... If I get a shiny female and a shiny male... Then you could breed them together and get it'll be faster egg production. But actually, they if uh, if you if you take two eggs that hatch, you can't actually breed them together. You can't uh, in this generation. You can't breed the offspring with the parents, or you can't breed the two offspring together. Brimming with energy before your daughter was born. Yep, and now your energy's probably all gone. Hard to screw up uh, Mexican rice at a restaurant. Okay. Pretty easy to make. Still no Eevee egg yet. Still no Eevee egg. About an 11% chance every 256 steps. Yeah, that's right, uh, Meta Champion. That's exactly what they did. What I could do, actually, is if, if I get, hmm, if I get, um, Let's say I, I hatch a female Eevee that's shiny. I could try to hatch um, a male shiny Eevee in the in my other game. That way they'd have different IDs, potentially different stats. And then maybe I can breed the, 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 the two Pokemon together. When the bank closes, will all Pokemon be stuck in whatever game they're in? Um, uh, probably, yeah. 
Well, I mean, you can you can trade Pokemon from Gen 3 to Gen 4 and from Gen 4 to Gen 5. Um, I think you need Bank, right, or Transporter to put it into Gen 6. But certainly, uh, unless they change the way Pokemon Bank works, it looks like anything from Gen 1 to 7, will that they'll be stuck in there. You won't be able to... To move him around. Yeah, they'll be stuck within a range of games. Ah, oh, we finally got an Eevee egg! Yay! We can start hatching the Eevees. Again, unless they unless they change the way bank works, unless they somehow uh, update bank to make it sort of like an offline service, that rather than be the Pokemon Bank being stored in a in a cloud, that they're just stored sort of locally on your device. But uh, I don't know that they would do that. This animation warms my heart. Which which animation? Getting back to blue. Oh, you beat the rocket guy at the end of the bridge. Wait, you've been on the bridge forever, though. I'm, you must have taken a break, Muffin Man. Update bank to be able to trade. Yeah, I I don't think that they're gonna make any changes. I think they're just gonna shut down the server, and and that's it. Because they did say you know bank is you know with the the uh, 3ds and Wii U Wi-Fi services going offline. They said Pokemon Bank is not going offline. They said something, but then they said, like, having said that, you know, you should probably transfer, transfer the Pokemon from bank to home at your earliest convenience. So when they say that, it, 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 to me, that means that, uh, to me, that means it, it transfer from your Pokemon from bank to home now, because eventually you're not going to be able to. Yeah, back to blue. That's right. All right, now that we're uh, now that we're in a new hunt on Eevee here, we've got a one in sixty-four chance of the very first egg being a shiny Eevee. Or it means please use our product. Well, I mean, the service is free, so it's not like they're they're benefiting if you use bank now you're not gaining anything from it I mean it, it could also be like it could also be like you better move it over now so you make sure you purchase that home membership I guess you do you do need to have a subscription to Pokemon home to be able to move stuff from bank But right now, yeah, right now Pokemon Bank is free. The servers are up. And you can you can store your Pokemon and transfer them for free. You don't have, you don't need to pay the $5 a year subscription anymore. So I can't imagine they're going to keep that free service avail available forever. All right, we got a Shuckle egg hatching. See if we can get another Shuckle. That'd be cool. Just a regular shuckle. Ooh, you're almost done with the living decks in Arceus. Less than 10 to go. Whoa. All right, Cycloptics. Then if you want the shiny charm, you got the grueling task of getting all of the living decks Pokemon to research level 10.
Picking up the third EB egg. We have two more shuckle to hatch. Actually, I bet you these eggs are all gonna hatch like in quick succession. I bet the next the next shuckle egg is gonna hatch within like 30 seconds. Oh, you've been doing that since I started, so about 15. Oh, okay, not too bad. 15 left to go. Ten to catch, fifteen to research level ten. Alright, here's another shuckle. Leftover shuckle. Can we get a second shuckle? Not shiny. And in about 30 more seconds, we're gonna get another shuckle hatch. And that'll be it for the shuckle eggs. Bum, 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 bum. Forget what Eevee's hatch cycle is. Alright, here we go, uh, the last shuckle egg. Ooh, Eevee is, is 9,000 steps. Not shiny on the shuckle. So the, the Lapras was 10,300 steps. The Eevee is 9,000 steps. Ugh. It was kind of, a, kind of one of those long hatch cycles again. Dang, right? A little bit faster. Why am I being paid tomorrow? Because of Good Friday? Yeah, Good Friday's a haul. Yeah, Friday is... What's today? Wednesday, right? So yeah, you'd be paid tomorrow, I guess. Ekans just wrap my darn term in. Oh, I hate rap. In the first generation. Because if you can outspeed the Pokemon, then you can just wh whittle them down with rap. So many Eevees. I know. At least six. At least six. Nine if I want to have, uh, you know, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon with the Game Boy icon. Ah, uh, rap only lasted two turns. I got into a battle. And, um, I got paralyzed in the battle. And then it used rap on me, so it was outspeeding me because I was paralyzed, and I didn't have any, like, paralyzed heals or full heal. And it just kept, it kept, the, the, the NPC was rap stalling me. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't move because of rap. I'd hit fight, and then I was rap, rap, rap. Finally, it was able to be my turn. I'd select a move, and then the Pokemon would use Wrap again. Am I playing this on the Switch or the Wii? I'm not. I'm playing this on my 3DS. Three DS Virtual Console version. Wrap like Eminem. That's right. Or Keminem, as we call me. Dragonite use rap. What can Dragonite learn rap? The narrator from the original Pokemon is saying in Gen 1 rap tips. The enemy Ekans attack continues. 
And the enemy's attack continues, just over and over and over. Koga was kicking my butt in yellow at an underleveled war turtle. I use Ice Beam on the Venomoth. Says Ultimatron and froze it. Somehow snuck in a win because of bad game design. So you froze it. Nice. What's it like a 10% chance? Ice Beam? Of freezing? I have a chemistry question. How do Pokemon make eggs? I think that's more of a biology question, Andy. But the truth is, we don't know. This is why they're always surprised to see eggs, because there's no, there's no hanky-panky in Pokemon. They just... The Pokemon just have to be in close proximity to each other, and then eggs get magically made. They just appear. This is why in Scarlet and Violet you set up a picnic. Your Pokemon are running around. And then all of a sudden, there's an egg in the basket. Like, you, it didn't, the Pokemon didn't go lay that egg in the basket. They're just running around playing. Sometimes they're sleeping, and bam, there's an egg. Uh, Isaac, this is Crystal that I'm playing. Pokemon Crystal. Something low like that, but unless the frozen Pokemon has a fire attack used on it, it will stay frozen for the duration of the battle? In Gen 1, they can thaw, can't they? In Gen 1, they'll just uh, they'll just thaw on their own, right, after so many turns? Really? Once they're once they're frozen in Gen One, that's it. It could be it could be thirty turns and they stay frozen the whole time. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Maybe that's why they changed it in uh, in the future generations because then it's it's just too powerful then. Yeah, the daycare man might know if he stood outside facing the Pokemon. Time for yeah, for uh, yeah. I I didn't I didn't realize they uh, they just they're frozen forever. I guess unless they use a full restore or whatever, or you know full heal or something. I didn't know that they just stay frozen. The daycare man always knows. Maybe maybe because my character's a kid. He's a 10-year-old kid in the game. The old man's just like, whoa, we were surprised to see this egg. Because he didn't he doesn't want to tell the kid the, the truth. He'd give an extremely detailed account. You see, the two Pokemon love each other very much. How uh, how is this first EV egg doing? I wonder. I wonder what's inside. Needs more time, so it's not even really. Uh, it's not not even close to hatching, really. You take creating enter protein to enhance your mass creatine. Protein to increase my massive bench press. I have both, yeah. Yeah, creatine and protein are some of like of the only only workout supplements that are actually beneficial, really. Oh, really, Ninja? Skin cancer, well, I hope it uh, goes well for him. I think skin cancer is like the most treatable form of cancer. So, very, very high 
uh, recovery rate. But yeah, when you go outside, if it's hot, put your sunscreen on. But yeah, thankfully, skin cancer apparently is really, really easy to treat. So, hopefully, uh, all, all is well with him. Oh, you checked? Yeah, you wouldn't have faxed your uh, stub if you didn't go in. Well, you just would have been a day late. Thirty-two. Yeah, he's young. I've known people in their twenties with uh, who've had skin cancer, and thankfully, uh, you know, are had tr got it treated, and it's and it's good to go. We got a full box of five EV eggs with the longer hatch cycle. I should hopefully um, have an egg uh, ready to hatch or ready to collect as soon as the one hatches. I hope. Baltimore Bridge collapsed. Yikes. Hopefully the one of the five is shiny, wouldn't that be nice? My fastest so far uh, in generation two egg breeding is three. I can't remember which one happened, which, which Pokemon I got in three. Which one was it? I got Vulpix in six, Paraset, Paris in eight, it was, it was Abra. It was Abra. I got uh, I got a shiny Abra at 76. 76 eggs, and then three eggs later, I got another shiny Abra. 600 million, that's crazy. Yeah, that's expensive to rebuild. Nope, no flame body in Gen uh, 2. There's no way to speed up the production of eggs, and there's no way to speed up the hatching of eggs. So, you're stuck with the slow, the slow hatch times, but I mean, the, the, the payoff is, if you've got a shiny ditto in there, you've got a 1 in 64 chance of having a shiny. Probably got another, uh, we'll do another 40 minutes on the live stream. That's enough time for a few few EV eggs uh, to hatch anyway. Hey yo, Maddie, how you doing, Maddie? Man, I want to go out and find a shiny Bullaby or two in uh, in Pokemon Go. It's windy in my game right now, which is a boost in flying type, so Volibee will be boosted at least. Hey, Ashley, have the longer streams been helping with the views at all? I mean, if I go longer, it's obviously there's... There are going to be more views in that uh, there's, there's more time for people to show up. But it hasn't been like... It hasn't like given a huge boost or anything. Yeah, weather boosted dino. There is a dino right here, actually. But, uh, I mean, there was dino community day, so I already have a whole bunch of shiny dino. Uh, meant to have three or five slimes. Hold on, what? Slimes? Hundo of that. Ooh, okay. You settled with a with a functional undo. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch of spawns coming in, but uh, but some Mercrews and a Drifloon. 
No Vullabies. Check these. And there's a Padov, which I believe is Shiny Huntable and Pogo. There's Purloin, which I think is Shiny Huntable. There's Bronzor, which I know is uh, Shinyable. And there's Drifloon, which I know is Shinyable. And then there's uh, Hopip. And none of those are shiny, okay. I put my protein powder in water and blend it in a ninja blender, okay. Strawberry, yeah, strawberry protein powder. I just use uh, one of those shaker cups with the little shaker ball in it. You found a hundo bronzer or house spawn? And then the next one, oh, the next one was shiny. Man, if only, right? If only. Al Cash, congrats on the shiny Volby. Yeah, 1 in 64 chance. So it's actually pretty windy here. And um, maybe if I go out later, I'll get lucky. I'll get lucky and uh, they'll be uh, shiny. Shiny Volby for me. GG for the shuckle, thank you. 40 eggs. I've never seen the slime ASMR. I don't uh, I don't watch ASMR videos. And my kids like slime, but we don't we don't buy them slime or let them play with it cuz they make too much of a mess with it. Oh, you got your shiny Vullaby today too. Congrats. How's the uh, first egg doing here? Let's see. Moves around sometimes. Might be close to hatching. Okay, so we still got still got a little bit of time before the first one hatches. Shadow Mewtwo raids this weekend. That's right. I understand there'll be 1 in 20 chance of being shiny. 1 in 20. And... Um, no, I guess no additional bonus raid passes like with the Kyogre Groudon. I wonder, do I have a shiny Mewtwo, a uh, Shadow Mewtwo? I know I don't have a shiny. Let's see. I've only got, I've got a sh one Shadow Mewtwo. 66 Mewtwo candy, 51 extra large. Oh, it's, it's a 10, 15, 15 is my Shadow Mewtwo. <laughs> Fun if you're adult and you know how to keep, uh, keep, keep them cared for. Make sure they don't uh, deactivate. Okay. Helps with the fidgeting, yeah. Welcome returning channel member. Oh, Nick, thanks for 11 months. Almost a year on a channel membership. That's pretty wild. You've got an extra, extra small... Shiny Shadow Mewtwo, 84. That's pretty awesome. Extra, extra small, too. Ones you got today smells like... Ooh, banana bread. Okay. Another honeydew melon. Another, like, lemon mint. Sound like nice slimes. Oh, you got your bike. Nice. Pokemon Blue. You're going to Louisville, Kentucky in a couple months. Ultimatron with your siblings and their spouses. They don't want kids to be brought along. I don't think they understand how cool their daughter is. Yeah, they don't even want her around. That's a ripoff. I don't believe, says Matthew, that I got the shiny Shadow Mewtwo when it dropped. Uh, oh, you got a, a Mewtwo. Okay, Shadow with 15 attack, though. That's Welcome pretty good. Channel member. Many 10 months. What did you do to our Chris? Give him back. I know. Shaved my head. I know. Thanks for the 10 months, though. Big Cheese, last slime you encountered only had me plus two experience. The heck does that mean? Oh, Louisville. Yeah, I went already. 
Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, remove frustration from the 93 Shadow uh, Raikou. Shiny Shadow Raikou. I guess with the uh, with the Mewtwo raids, can you remove frustration on, on these Pokemon now? Alright, how, how's these eggs doing here? Making sounds inside. It's going to hatch soon. Alright, we're looking at our first Eevee real soon. You call it Louisville. The hair is now in a YouTube museum. Yeah, uh, it's in a trash bag somewhere. RPG tropes to cam. Yeah, because I don't know that stuff. Thanks for the 150 likes. We've only got about half an hour left in the live stream. We can get a like goal of 175 pinned if we want. Hatching shiny Eevee in the first egg. I know, that would be awesome. It's a 1 in 64 chance. Okay, with regular TMs, you could remove frustration. That's awesome. You call it Lovell. <laughs> okay, due to the team uh, rocket takeover. 151 likes right now. One for each of the original Kanto decks. Bum, bum, bum. A slot of jerping slimes are traditionally the first level of monsters you encounter. Low amount of experience in coins. So in what? In in like. What is that? JRPGs. Okay, first Eevee egg. Can we get a shiny Eevee on the first egg? Not shiny. Not shiny on the first one. Dang. Oh, Japanese role-playing game. Okay. So, traditionally in those... Um, some of the first ones are slimes. Okay. And they give you low experience. Gotcha. See, I never played those games. In a lot of, yeah. You missed Shuckle. Yeah, you missed it. There's the Eevee. Not shiny. Boom, boom, boom. If it doesn't uh, revolve around defending a crystal, you don't want to play it. Is that is that a common thing? What a scam! I know Eevee not on first. I said with the with the amount of egg uh, egg hunts we have to do in this game, two hundred uh, two hundred forty or so. I mean, at a one in sixty four chance, we're looking at uh, probably, you know. If, uh, if RNG, even if we don't get lucky, just if we get regular, standard odds, uh, you were looking at three or four eggs. Three or four Pokemon will be shiny on the first egg. Final Fantasy is based around crystals. Okay. I've only played Final Fantasy VIII, and it was years ago, so I don't really remember. Oh, through Final Fantasy V. Okay. So not anything past that. Ah, we already got another Eevee egg waiting for us. That's perfect. If there's a deli whoop, then there's a deli deli whoop. Final Fantasy is never the Final Fantasy. I know, there's always... They call it the Final Fantasy, but then there's always another fantasy after that. Not directly, there's references, okay, to the past games, gotcha. I don't know, I played 8, I really liked 8. Some people say that 8 is no good. I heard 7, Final Fantasy 7 is supposed to be really good. The longest eggs to hatch in Gen 2 are Chansey, 
Dratini, Lapras, Larvitar, and Snorlax. 10,300 steps. Eevee is in second place with 9,000 steps. Tied, tied with Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is also 9,000. Like, Final Destination is never the last one, right? Oh, we got another Eevee hatching. Come on now. Not shiny on number two. How many steps is Kangaskhan? Uh, psh, psh, psh. Looking like Kangaskhan is 5,200. 5,200 steps for Kangaskhan. Yeah, Aerodactyl can breed. All the fossil Pokemon can breed. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, each Pokemon is different. Uh, there's, there's different, yeah. Different sort of uh, groups of Pokemon that have different hatch cycles. Magikarp is the fastest uh, hatching Pokemon, at least in this generation, 1,300 steps. So they hatch really fast. Then 2,600 steps is Cleffa, Iglybuff, Pichu, and Togepi. Then uh, 3,900 steps, Caterpie, Geodude, Hoot Hoot, Lediba, Pidgey. Uh, Rattatas, Sentret, Spiro, Spinarak, Weedle, and Zubat. Those are all, uh, 3,900. Then the, the sort of the longer hatch cycle, 6,500 is Elekid, Heracross, Magby, Mantine, Mischievous, Mr. Mime, Onyx, Pinsir, Scyther, Skarmory, Smooch, and Matyrogue. 7,700 is Kabuto and Ammonite. 9,000 is Aerodactyl and Eevee. 10,300 is Chansey, Dratini, Lapras, Larvitar, and Snorlax. And then everything else is 5,200. At least on the list I'm looking at, so. But yeah, most of the Pokemon, uh, most of the Pokemon are 5,200. Uh, I never did end up getting the Odd, odd Egg Tyrogue, no. I just, I just uh, took whatever shined first, and it happened to be Pichu. So, Pichu, which is also a rare one, like a 1% chance of a shiny Pichu, so... I guess I'll have to do when I hatch Tyrogue. Okay, egg number three. When I hatch Tyrogue, I'll need four of them, I guess. Not shiny, number three. Fossils uh, couldn't breed because of Sword and Shield. Oh, they don't breed in Sword and Shield? Are you sure? I think they do. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Gen 8 fossils. Oh, yeah, the Gen 8 ones. That's true. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Those ones don't. Yeah, v -v -v -v, the opposite of Eevee. Yeah, the Drake is old and Drake of Ish and all that. They, they don't breed. But I think, yeah, but Gen 8, you can still breed the other fossils. Um, Meta Champion, fun fact, you can't transfer the Mon that hatches from the Odd Egg until Dizzy Punch is forgotten. Really? Transfer to where?
like into Pokemon Bank? To, oh, to later games. Interesting. Okay. Microwave burrito for lunch. Man, I miss uh, microwave burritos. One of uh, one of our big chain stores here, the real Canadian superstore, used to have this thing. You get uh, it was like eighteen microwave burritos in a bag, and uh, they were split between bean and cheese, mild uh, beef and bean, and uh, and hot beef and bean. And you get a total of 18 burritos, and it was like 12 bucks for a bag. But they don't make they don't make them anymore, which sucks because they were really good. Dima, what's up, man? How's it going? We did get shiny Shuckle today, so now working on Eevee. These were a buck 78. Oh, and they're long ones. Okay. Oh, but I miss those burritos. The hot beef and bean, they were so good. And the mild beef and bean were good too. Not as good as the hot. I didn't care for the bean and cheese, but my wife liked them. But like 18 burritos for 12 bucks. Pretty good deal. Beef and bean and bean and cheese, yeah. What's up? The opposite of down, that's true. Yeah, we got the shiny shuckle at 40 today. How will Kem get shiny Nidoran female in this game? You just breed with a with a with a Nidoran. All right, egg number four. Not shiny. Not shiny. Nidoran, Nido Nidorina, and Nido Queen can't breed, but Nidoran can. Having said that, um. When, uh, yeah, get eight shiny Eevee. Well, well, potentially nine, right? Potentially nine, right? Eevee and the eight evolutions. Um, but actually, if you breed Nidoran, doesn't matter if you breed the male or female Nidoran, the eggs, uh, you can, you'll hatch the female or the male eggs. 50 50 chance. So even if you put like a female Nidoran, in with a ditto, say. Uh, the eggs will will be mix and match between the male and the female. I actually do have a female Nidoran. It took me... 26 eggs. But then I'll need two more, two more female and three more male. The, the kind of the crummy thing is, like, you can't, you can't just get female Nidoran eggs or male Nidoran eggs. So I could be at a point, like, if the next two Nidoran shinies I get are female, then, you know, I'll probably, uh... I'd probably end up getting another female before I get all the male. Masuda, the only viable option in this gen, well, there's no Masuda method, but, um, but yeah, breeding with a shiny Pokemon is really the only viable option, yeah. Otherwise, it's full odds, 1 in 8,192. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, breeding with a shiny is really the, uh, the, unless you want to, unless you want to do full odds. Egg Hunt in Let's Go Johto, yeah, none, there's none of that in Let's Go Johto. There's no, uh, no Eevee egg waiting for me. I don't want to hatch another Eevee. And then not have an egg waiting. 
SSN, almost done. Okay, train up to Pikachu before fighting the rival. Uh, I first got into Pokemon right when it came out in the 90s, Dima. I'd collect, like, the base set cards and the jungle cards and the fossil cards. I, I didn't have a copy of red or blue, but my friend did, and he lent it to me. And then I ended up getting a copy of yellow for my birthday, and then I played Gen 2, and... And, uh, and then I didn't have a Game Boy Advance, so from Gen 3 and up, I kind of, like, stopped playing Pokemon. And then I got back into Pokemon when Let's Go came out. I know Sax, uh, Sax doesn't like Pokemon Let's Go. But if it weren't for Pokemon Let's Go, I probably wouldn't be streaming right now. Does your daughter know who I am? No. But wait, HH, isn't Bank staying? It is for now. Bank is staying for now, but they are going to get rid of it uh, someday. I remember shutting my friend's Game Boy Advance off an accident. Oh no, when he was fighting the Elite Four. Did he not, uh, was it a while since he saved? Calling Cresselia a flying croissant? I don't remember that. Shutting off your friend's Game Boy Advance. I remember in um, junior high, we were in the computer lab and they had those really old like Mac computers, like, with the, like, the box Mac computers with the black and white screens. And, oh, they're good, there's an egg. And, um, we, we spent all class working on a paper. And then some guy crawled under the desk and unplugged somebody, <laughs> somebody's computer. And then, uh, he, he hadn't saved for, like, the entire time. So, he lost all his work. Oh, it's when you get all the plates, okay. Are you gonna need to get seven Eevees? Well, six. Five, the five Eevee Lucians in this generation, and then and then one to have the Eevee. So I'll need to get six of them, but I might wanna go for nine, just so that, uh, you know, I could have a little Game Boy icon, Leafeon and Glaceon and, uh, and uh, Sylveon. Yeah, I'll get the others, but I'll probably do, like, those off-stream or something. Just to have them. Just to have a leafy on... And a, sh a shiny Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon that originated from a Game Boy game. That's pretty cool. Is Pikachu is worse at battling than a pound of fried onions? Wow, that's, uh, that's really bad. Alright, we got about 15 minutes left in the live stream. That's enough for a few more Eevee hatches. Maybe we'll get to seven. We'll see how fast these uh, eggs want to hatch. Man, a pound of fried onions, though, that'd be delicious. I don't know about you guys, but, like, I could literally just put a pile of fried onions on my plate and just eat them just like that. Like, they don't even have to be on anything. Playing, uh, Zoom Binnies back in the day. No way. I don't remember that. All I, I remember in, like, high school, right, they'd have, like, the... You know, the school blocker would block, like, all the websites. But the kids, we all we all knew, like, how to access the VPNs or whatever to, to get around that. Egg number five. Not shiny. There'd be, like, these weird Chinese sites that you can go to. And uh, you just have to enter the URL of the website you wanted to go on this website. And then it would take you there and you wouldn't... Uh, the computer's... Uh, Blockers wouldn't uh, catch it. 
So far, all of the five Eevees that have hatched have been male. Eevee could not evolve an Espeon or Umbreon and Fire Red, Leaf Green. Oh, they didn't have day-night cycles. Okay. Back in elementary school, I played those uh, Mac math games and such. Some of them were cool, yeah. The typing, uh, typing games and all that. What was a learning game back in the late 90s? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a while ago. I don't remember all the games we played. Yeah, I just remember the black, big black and white uh, Mac computers. You have to put your floppy disk in there to to save your files. With your like floppy disk with what like four megabytes of storage space. Treasure Math Storm. Yeah, the name doesn't sound familiar to me. I do remember to be like math games and stuff. You had Mac computers with the colored backs when you were in elementary. I remember those, yeah. I remember, uh, yeah, those ones. Those were cool. They kind of have something similar like that. I think the, I think the iMacs. Now you can get uh, it's all like aluminum or whatever, but uh, but they do have the colored aluminum. And they're sort of bringing some of the colors back, like with the iPhones. My iPhone is silver, but they had like deep purple, and they have blue iPhones and red iPhones. So it's not just the standard black, silver colors. I, I wanted I wanted when I got my iPhone I wanted the uh, the deep purple color but the the only one they had they said um, when I went to sign up for my plan they said the the iPhone 14 Pro was sold out in like every store across the province they had none left but then he went and he looked in the back and they had like a silver one they had a silver one and it was 512. Gigabyte storage instead of the 128 and somehow it was cheaper than the uh, than the 128 Back when monitors were heavy as heck yeah CRT uh, whatever they are screens The learning company was the publisher they did all the reader rabbit games man those were the good times Those were the good times. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get a spare Eevee egg. So I'm getting nervous. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna hatch an Eevee here and not have an egg ready. Alright, food time, we'll see you tomorrow, Meta Champion. Reader Rabbit, yeah. See, I don't even remember the names of those things. Man, I gotta grow my hair back. I look like I got an egg head. I had to Google it. Just remember to premise on one of the game. Maybe if I maybe if I saw like what the gameplay looked like, I might remember. I look good bald. Well, thank you. I I I look strange to myself. I'm still not quite used to it, right? Eggs are so expensive up there. It's how big they are, right? I don't know. I like to buy the extra large eggs. <laughs> this is the size of an egg in uh, in Canada. They're huge. Them Canadian eggs. Bum, 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 bum. Basically, mini moose. Yeah, that's moose egg. 
We got moose eggs. Could be like an ostrich egg. Has anyone had quail eggs? I see, I know the grocery store here sells like quail eggs and they're really tiny and they're expensive, so I, I don't buy them. I never had one before. Hmm. Your friend sells them? Okay. I don't know if they taste any different, like, than a chicken egg. Whale eggs. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're like, Cam, that's not how it works. Oh, but dummy. Oh, man. What? What? Oh, man. Ooh, there's no egg yet. Come on. I, I want to, yeah. I need an, I need an egg. I'm afraid the Eevee's going to hatch. Yeah, I'm a bald, bald head now. But don't tease me. If there's one Bible lesson that you need to remember, is that when all those kids were teasing that bald-headed uh, guy, then God sent two bears, and they, the bears mauled all those kids for teasing the bald guy. So let that be a warning. To all of you. Sleeker, more aerodynamic chem. I went out for a walk yesterday. And uh, I put my uh, toque on. I put my toque on and so my head wasn't uh, cold. Elisha, that's a great story. Can you imagine, like, these kids are just, like, making fun of them for being bald. And their punishment is they get mauled by bears. Like, what the heck? That's, yeah, not John 4, 7, Tobias and Jedediah mocked the bald kid. It's actually, yeah, it was in, like, 2 Kings or something. That's actually in, in the Bible, though. They were teasing Elisha for being bald. And then two she-bears came out and mauled the kids. 3rd Job. I like when they asked Donald Trump what his favorite Bible verse was, and he couldn't even name a single verse. We all need a third job in the economy. Come on, man. Economy's good. Don't get me started on that. I didn't see anything in his own his own Bibles. What the heck? Donald Trump selling $60 Bibles. God bless America. Ugh, that's so pathetic. He's got to pay for his legal bills somehow, I guess. I know, there's so he could have literally, literally just named anything. And then I think eventually he said, like, 2 Corinthians. It's like anybody who's actually read the Bible knows that you'd say 2 Corinthians, not 2 Corinthians. I didn't see that. He's, he's sell, selling Bibles. He's selling uh, sneakers. Right? A anything. He's got a, he got all those judgments against him. Asked God for forgiveness. Went about... Well, he he's pretty much flawless, that guy. So he probably doesn't need forgiveness for anything. Bum, 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 bum. Did you feel like you slept cooler? Yeah, I did. It's, uh, it's nice. Well, it looks like we have time for, like, maybe one more egg here to hatch. Austin 316, yeah. <laughs> From wrestling. Kem's got one of them goofy cartoon nightcaps. No, no.
You're not gonna believe you three shiny. Uh, you got a shiny three segment to Dunsparce and just four checks. That is really lucky. Uh, people say bank will be up for us for free. Well, it's free right now. It's a free service right now, but it, they are gonna close it. They haven't said when they're gonna close it, but they pretty much said that they, it's gonna close one day. Goes downstairs with his candle. <laughs> close to the window in the middle of the night. Yeah, one of them long, long uh, caps with the full length nightgown. I got uh, my little candle with my finger in the holder. And it had a mark too, very nice. Kem is studying to speedrun Ninja Warrior. No, I'm not gonna speedrun anything. Yeah, Bank is currently a free service, but it's not gonna be around forever. I have no idea when it's gonna close. My my guess is they're, they're gonna wait until every Pokemon in the National Dex is available on some Nintendo Switch game. So right now there's there's nine non-mythical Pokemon that are unobtainable on a Switch game. So my guess is then once that happens, then they'll close bank. Could do all things to reverse taken out of context. That's right. Okay, we got an egg, egg number six. This is gonna be the final egg of the stream. Can we get a double shiny? Not a shiny Eevee, but uh, there's always another day. There's always another day. Boo! I know. Yeah, I know the sprites in Gen 2 are really good. Let's check to see if it's female, because I haven't got a female Eevee yet. It's male, okay. Actually, the Eevee that I got from Bill was a female, which is kind of cool. You got the shiny Eevee from the uh, Daycare Egg in Gen 2. Nice, that's what I'm trying. 1 in 64 chance. Well, it's been fun. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. We got uh, 152 likes here. Just before we go, let me say thank you to a few people. Matt Prokopek. I don't know if you're still here, Matt, but thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. Gym Leader Hassan flexing 14 months of channel membership. Poka Castle 10 months. Kieran 10 months. Joseph 12 months. Full year. Random Opinions been also 10 months. Nick 11 months. Manny 10 months of channel membership. Really appreciate the support everybody. I'll be back tomorrow for some more shiny hunting. Hope you have a great rest of your day and good luck on your own shiny hunts. Take care. Bye-bye.